We are live. That is something that we're doing. Hi, hello, welcome. Hi, how are you? Is my microphone on? I hope it is. If it's not, I'm gonna cry. Nope, it's on. It is on. It is something that is very much on, so that means I can't say the bad things. Especially about those types of people. Or the internet will cancel me. <laughs> Uh, I really hope nobody took that seriously. Or maybe I do hope they took it seriously. I don't know. I'm that type of guy. I'm that guy. <laughs> Anyways, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, man, machine, everything that lies within between those realms of reality. Welcome to more Kingdom Hearts 1.5 HD Remix. Kingdom Hearts 1 playthrough on problem of 100%. It's good to see you guys again. Thank you for stopping by. Now, before we continue on where we last left off, actually where we last left off, Destiny Island got horribly fucked by a shadow demon. And now we're here in this place called Traverse Town because our our, our island got fucked up and we got transported here and then Pluto licked me in the face and woke me up. But now, we're here in Traverse Town, right? We're gonna be coming back to this place multiple times and within between last session which I actually want to stream longer on mainly because I really wanted to get like a good start on the playthrough but then uh, towards the end of that I started to slowly fall asleep and I was very tired there was actually one point in that stream where I closed my eyes and they did not open until like the end of a cutscene and I was I was really scared <laughs> <laughs> I was scared because I was like, wait a minute, how long have I, how long did I doze off? Jesus. But now I am more rested, not well rested, but more rested. And within between this session and the last, I did a, I did a bit of preparation. You see, I might have a little bit of a problem when it comes to RPGs in the sense that, especially on the stream, in the sense that I want things to get a move on as smoothly as possible. That said... Off screen, I made a save file. And in Destiny Island, I grinded my ass all the way to level 24. I wanted to originally do it to level 10, but I, I couldn't stop myself. And I had a bunch of time left, and I was like, you know what? I'll just keep going. So 10 became 20, and 20, I wanted that to become 30, because I was just like, fuck it, how long can I go? I bet if I had like one more hour, I would have been level 30 before the first boss. Don't worry, by the next stream I'll be uh I'll be level I'll be level sixty. <laughs> or something like that. Oh man. Sora shows up to Travis Town, all swole and brolic, holding a puny keyblade because he's like the Hulk now. Make it happen. Make that fan art happen. I would love to see that. Alright. Accessory shop. I actually got to make a save file. <laughs> hey there, how can I? Oh, it's only a kid. I'm not a kid, and the name's Sora. All right, all right, simmer down. So, why the long face, Sora? You lost or something? No, well, maybe. Where the hell are we? Huh? Traverse Town? So, Gramps, is this really another world? Don't call me Gramps. The name's Kid. Anyways... Not sure what you're talking about, but this sure ain't your island. Hmm. Guess I better start looking for Riku and Kairi. Well, good luck with whatever it is you're doing. If you ever run into trouble, you come and see me. I'll look out for you. Fun little factoid about Sid here. For all you Final Fantasy enthusiasts, do you know that he's actually younger than Barrett? <laughs> He's actually not the oldest one on your team in Final Fantasy VII. He's younger than Barrett, and it's like, oh, how old are you? And I think he's like 36 or something, and Barrett's like 42, and it's like, oh, what the fuck, Sid? What happened? Why are you, <laughs> why are you like, why well, you look like you're in your 70s? Brolic ass man in his 70s, but still, you look like you're in your 70s. Anyways, once you're done talking to Sid, you want to run your your cute little keyblade booty up here.
That man tripped and lost his heart. I don't know how that's possible, but okay. Those are the creatures that attacked my island. I know because I killed like thousands of them already. Huh. Now they take two hits. <laughs> when I was grinding on Destiny Island, I got to the point where the, I was just one hitting them, so I'm kind of surprised that they're taking two hits now. By the way, let me just show off what we got going on here. So, here it is. Right. That's where my grinding got me. Uh, I have a shit ton of potions. And for abilities, this is what I got going on right now. I got Ripple Drive uh, Scan, Hurricane Blast, HP. I'm actually gonna remove that. I only had that because, you know, I wanted to have it. Oh, wait, I can still have it. No Treasure Magnet. I'll do Treasure Magnet. We don't need to worry about MP right now. And I do need to pick up as much money as I possibly can to make things go as smoothly as possibly. So... Now, when you're ready, you can honestly just walk back through the door. Because this is a nice part where you're supposed to run around and explore. And when you do that, Donald and Goofy go, huh? Doesn't look like he's here. Keep looking. This is supposed to be a nice time where you just explore. Hello? Oh, can I not ring the bell yet? Oh, damn. Oh, wait. I can ring the bell. You can ring my bell. Come on. They gave me the option. Wait. There we go. Announcement. Our hotel is holding... Oh, well, I, I couldn't... Thank you. There we go. That's how you ring it. Come on. Answer. No vacancy. All. Okay. I love how the guy's just like, Hey! Cut that shit out. So yeah, <laughs> might be a little overpowered for a bit of it, but hey, we're on proud mode, so don't worry, it balances out, right? So, our abilities. Actually, I should show those off while we have the while we have the time, because this is going to be a long stream, and I love the moment I start streaming. My dog is just just loving it, just loving it, and making all his wonderful noises in the background. So, stun impact. You get thirty percent chance at the end of your. One, two, three, hit combo. Your finisher to be a uh, nice little area of effect move that does damage and stuns enemies. It only activates. Well, the chance of it activates only happens when you're surrounded by enemies. But it says 30%. It feels like more, and that's pretty much what it does. If the enemy survives that hit, they're going to be dazed for a bit. But I like to switch that out for something more reliable, which is Ripple Drive. Ripple Drive is based on how much MP you have. The more MP you have at your current moment, the stronger the attack is. It is a finishing move that happens 100% of the time when you're surrounded by enemies. You've already seen it in action. It's the nice, beautiful effect. I'm actually going to hop down here just to show it off. Oh, shit. There were some Heartlesses down there. Leon! Mr. Leon! Oh, you're there? Oh, actually, there's a chest over here. Might as well get it, right? Okay, let's see if I can get surrounded. And that's Ripple Drive. Now, Treasure Magnet is, you know, speaks for itself. Scoops up items. You can equip more of them to stack, so you can pick up items for, from farther away. Uh, I cannot carry any more potions. <laughs> now, I think that's the first time I ever saw that. Saw that text box. That is incredible. Hurricane Blast is a nice aerial move that you get where Sora does a nice, wonderful front flip, back flip as a finishing move in the air, and it does a shit ton of damage. It happens 100% of the time, of course. And Air Combo just gives you one more hit in the air. Um, MP Haste basically increases the rate that your MP restores, but we don't have to worry about that right now because we are not using any type of magic yet, so... We're not using any type of magic, so theoretically, since Ripple Drive goes off of the, uh, the magic meter, we should be good. You know, it, it's gonna be at full force 100% of the time, for now anyways. Now, like I said before, I went the way of the Mystic, and I gave up some defense in return for that, and I think 
I thought that only had effect on the abilities you learn, but I think it also has effect on the stats. Just by a little bit, because my defense is very low. At least that's what I think it is. I think it's very low. But I'm also not... I also don't have that much equipment on Sora besides the Protect Chain, which only increases your defense by like one point, so... Alright, so once you're done exploring, you want to scootle your little boodle up here. And run on back to the accessory shop. Exactly where sit accessory shop or is it the synthesis shop? I don't I don't I don't remember. But basically you you wanna heed the words of wise old Sid and run to him for protection. Because he's out here looking you know, he, he's out here looking out for you. You know what I mean? Make you feel good about yourself. Nice to know that everybody else fucked off too. Hit down here, you got some shadows. Ow! They're still doing a noticeable amount of damage, which I don't like. It's been a while since I've played Kingdom Hearts 1 on Proud Mode. Well, it's Final Mix Proud Mode, so it's not even like PS2 Proud Mode for the US anyways. Hi there, Sid. Talk to me. So I haven't found him? Keep your chin up. Take another look around town. But there's monsters out there. What do you got for me to buy? Oh, okay. Obsidian ring reduces dark damage slightly by 20 and increases strength. I'm broke, Sid. I have no money. You wanna sell? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe just a little bit. Uh, keep the pretty stone, I think. I forgot what the fuck the priest done is. I think it's either used for synthesis or um or it's uh it might it's not a summon. I don't think it's a summon. But potions! I have a shit ton of them. Where's my Oh there it is. Oh you gotta sell them one at a time? Damn it. Let's see how much I can make. Can I make a thousand? Without losing too much? Oh yeah, totally. Easily. One hundred percent easily. So many potions. So many. Uh, for the most part in Kingdom Hearts, at least in Kingdom Hearts 1, you don't have to really worry about money too much. And if you really need money, you can just really easily grind it and go out there and just get a shit done. So. There we go. Oh my god, I got 30 potions left. Okay, cool. I would like to buy. Okay. Okay. Fire Ring reduces damage from fire by 20, Ice by 20, Thunder by 20, Ability Stud raises max AP. Do I need that right now? No. I'm gonna do this. I'm not sure- hmm, it reduces dark damage by 20 and slightly increases strength. That's nice. I'm not sure if Heartless by default, like their regular attacks, are considered dark damage. I actually don't know what the fuck is considered dark damage in this game besides like maybe some- some like projectiles thrown at you, but I'm gonna. And it also increases my strength, so I'm just gonna do that. Thank you, Sid. Thank you. I'm also gonna climb up here and take your shit. Mythos shard. That is a synthesis item, and whenever you get synthesis items, even though it's very tempting to sell them, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. It will be a pain in the ass later. All right. Oh wait. What am I looking at? Oh, don't look at those. Don't look at those save files. Stop looking at them. Why are you looking at them? Stop it. I told you no. Why don't you listen to me? Eat my warning. Alright. They'll come at you out of nowhere. Who You're coming you? at me out of nowhere right now. And they'll keep on coming at you. As long as you continue to wield the keyblade. But why? Why would it choose a kid like you? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Never mind. Now, let's see that keyblade. Bad touch, get away. There's no way you're getting this. All right. Then have it your way. Look at all those belt buckles. Oh shit! Arrow! Oh wow, that hurt. So when he does that fireball, you can hit it back at him. And you don't have to win this fight, but winning it is A, a moral victory, and B, you get 30 experience out of it, so why not? 
Come on, shoot the fireball. I want to. I want to put you in a daze. But don't worry. Like he does, he hits pretty hard. But in terms of mobility and shit, he's not as crazy as Riku. I mean, he's not really fighting anyways. So, can you just throw the fireball, please, so I can hit it back at you, or at least have a chance to hit it back at you? I would. I would like to get the tech points, please. 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 Come on, I'm maxing nicely. Maxing nicely. You're not being very helpful here. Come on, fireball. I said fireball. Hadoken, motherfucker. Goddamn. Ow, you are hurting the fuck out of me. Hadoken, bitch. There we go. Don't worry, you're dead now. No way. I can lose. But you did. Oh, you're slipping, Leon. I love you, Yuffie. I went easy on him. Looks like things are worse than we thought. A lot worse. I love you, Yuffie. Everyone likes Aerith and Tifa, but you're my favorite, Yuffie. You always have been. Oh, by the way, this is an extra cutscene that they added in Final Mix. They added a bunch of extra cutscenes. Well, not a bunch, like a handful of them. And most of them you can tell because they're not even fucking voice acted. Damn, Riku, why are you so fucking swole? Like, I guess that's what happens when you've been living the island life, right? He's so swole that he gotta keep his pants at bay by putting belts at the bottom of them. Them babies ain't going nowhere. Gorsh, there's nobody here. Sure is spooky. I'm not scared. Excuse me, did the king send you? Pay very close attention to her eyes in this model, because for some reason, they give her like spooky cat eyes. Come on, lazy bum, wake up. You okay? Uh, I guess. Those creatures that attacked you are after the Keyblade. But it's your heart they really want. Because you wield the Keyblade. Man, that's I'm crazy, so Kyrie. How the fuck you, you know okay, all this? Kyrie? Kyrie? Who are you talking about? I'm the great ninja Yuffie. No, you're Hayden Pantieri. I think you might have overdone it, Squall. That's Leon. No, that's the Squall. Keyblade. They never, yeah. they never we say why they change his name in this game, but they keep everyone else's name you. from Final Fantasy. It was the only way to conceal your heart from them. I don't go around calling Yuffie fucking. Still hard to believe. I don't know. You, of all people, are the Jenny one. from the block. <sighs> well, I suppose beggars can't be choosers. Why don't you start making sense? What's going on here? Okay. You know there are many other worlds out there, besides your castle in this town, right? Yeah. But they're supposed to be a secret. They've been secret, because they've never been connected. Until now. When the Heartless came, everything changed. And the only the Avatar, master of all four elements, could stop them. You remember? But when the world's near him, Those without he hearts. vanished. The darkness in people's hearts. That's what attracts them. And there is darkness within every heart. Hey, have you heard of someone named Ansem? Oh boy, have I. I am Sam? He was studying the Heartless. He recorded all of his findings in a very detailed report. Very detailed. It's actually a little bit too detailed, honestly. Its pages are scattered everywhere. 
Too many worlds. Oh, then maybe the king went to find them. Yes, those were my thoughts exactly. Except he didn't. We've got to find him <laughs> quick. He left to go find the Keyblade of the Dark Side. That's right. The Keyblade. So, this is the key. Exactly. The Heartless have great fear of the Keyblade. That's why they'll keep coming after you. That makes no, no sense, Leon. Well, I didn't ask for this. The Keyblade chooses its master, and it chose But it doesn't. You. So, tough luck. How did all this happen? I remember being in my room. I love Kingdom Hearts 1. Because everything what after it just home? completely my gets retconned. <laughs> the Keyblade chooses you know its what? master, but it doesn't, really though. <laughs> it really doesn't. Ah, oh, Kingdom Hearts, you, you never cease to amaze me and make me chuckle at your tomfoolery. All right. The Keyblade can supposedly unlock almost anything because it's a giant fucking magical key. You're bound to run across treasure chests and other locks. Try it out. I'm trying to open up the lock to my chastity belt, but God said no. Got any elixir? That's cool. What do you got to say to me, Yuffie? I've heard the Keyblade can open all sorts of locks. He he just said. Give it a try next time you find tre- Okay. Thank you for adding to the conversation. Sooner or later, the Heartless will find you. You best prepare yourself. Prepare myself? To fight for your life. Are you ready? Bitch, I'm level- It's Traverse Town and I'm level like 24. I think I've been ready. Yuffie, let's go join Aerith, or Eris, whatever. She should be there by now with the others. Leon, or Squall, whatever. Yuffie, go. Damn. Sora, let's go. <laughs> I always love how Leon just throws the motherfucker out the window. Jesus, so unnecessary. It doesn't even kill the Heartless. He just did that for fun. Don't bother with the small fry, says Leon. No, please, do not get experience. Just go run towards the boss. I always hated that. I always hated when he said that shit. I remember playing this game for the first time ever, and he said that, and I was like, How come I can't beat the boss? What do you mean I'm underleveled? He told me to not worry about it. What a fucking liar. I hate you, Leon. <laughs> I hate you. I hate Leon, but Squall? I like that guy. That guy's cool. Oh, you can't open treasure chests while you're in a fight. I forgot. I fucking forgot about that. Jesus. Don't pick up the barrel. Forget about the barrel. Thank you. Give me my potion. Thank you very much. So now, at this point, you can you can run around if you want. Do some bullshit. Fight some heartless. Get get familiarized with the area. Or we can. For once, do what Leon says, and uh, head towards the main, you know, the main problem. So I'm gonna do that by heading over here. What you want to do is head to the third district. Ow! Uh, be careful on if, if you didn't grind your ass like I did. If you didn't grind your ass in this game like a stripper, like I did, <laughs> then when uh, if you're playing on proud mode, be very careful of uh, the soldiers and their cyclone attack, which is their nice, wonderful spinny kicks, because that shit fucking hurts, and that can quickly end your playthrough. Well, not end your playthrough, but ruin your day. That one too. I can't wait till I get dodge roll. I'm gonna start rolling all over the place. It's gonna be like Symphony of the Night in this bitch, you know, when you're just like... When you're just moonwalking throughout that whole entire game because it's faster than just running. Am I one-shotting these guys? Jesus. <laughs> Sora, stop. There's literally no reason for me to fight these guys right now. It's just like hardwired into my brain and now 
now by the principle of it, I don't want to back down until they're all dead. Death to the Heartless. Ow. Damn it. You guys taking pot shots at me. Actually, you know what? I want to try something real quick. I want one of them to hit me. Oh, come on. Now you don't want to spawn? Because I want to... I want to see if, like, a Heartless's basic attack counts as darkness. And if I actually do get some resistance off of that. Just, just give me a love tap. Uh, no, I don't think. I don't think so. I don't think it's darkness. It doesn't seem like it. It's only 20% though, so maybe... Maybe it's just not as noticeable. But whatever, I still get a plus one to my... I think it's a plus one, right? To my strength? With that piece of equipment on? Gorge, are these the heartless guys? Let's go get them! Go see! Great job, you two. What will I ever do without you? How do you manage to get blown up by two fucking... By two... <laughs> by two heartless that don't even have that ability? How did that happen? Alright. So now we have... Our first two teammates that will be with us forever and ever. They will never go nowhere. Because we love them. And they love us. Especially Donald. He loves to heal you when you're in trouble. Ain't that right, Donald? Don't you love doing that? Don't you love it so much? Just in case you can't tell, I was being very facetious. Donald tries his best not to heal you at all. Until you're like a split second away from healing yourself. Then he heals you and then you waste your magic or, or an item. Because he's a dickhead. But with your teammates, for the most part, you don't have to worry about what they're doing. But if you do feel like it, you can press the triangle button to tell them to attack certain things. To my knowledge, I'm not sure if they will use their special abilities to do that, or if they're just going to do a plain regular hit. Maybe they changed it in Final Max. I'm not sure, but hey. Now this here is a heartless known as Full Armor, our first boss. What you want to do... Is lock on Ow is not die. You can tech that. Lock on to its appendages and just take them out one by one. Doing so will make it easier to fight. And also we'll drop some nice little HP balls if you need them. Come on, do that hurricane blast, Sora. I think I gotta be, like, at a higher elevation than the enemy that I'm attacking. In order for it to activate. There we go. My nose itches. Very badly, actually. It's kind of distracting. You obtain Brave Warrior. I am a Brave Warrior, thank you. Thank you for noticing. So, you were looking for me? Mm -hmm. They too have been seeking the wielder of the Keyblade. Hey, why don't you come with us? We can go to other worlds on our vessel. I wonder if I could find Riku and Kairi. Of course. Are you sure? Who knows? I feel like that's how Tetsuya Nomura writes his stories. Sora, Are you sure? Sora. Who knows? <laughs> Especially if you want to find your friends. Yeah, I guess. But you can't come along looking like that. Understand? Ooh. No friend, no side friends, okay? Yeah, you gotta look funny. Like us. <laughs> Yep. Whoa. Yes, but runs on happy faces. Happy? 
How can I be happy? My mom is probably dead. He did the face, guys. He did it. Meme it up. <laughs> it's funny, haha. <laughs> okay, why not? I'll go with you guys. Name's Goofy. I'm Sora. All for one, one for all. Fun thing about Sora is that his design is actually like heavily based on Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Little squirt. Well, at least for the first game. Actually, his uh concept art, like his other designs, his beta designs, would had him more like animalistic. I think he was supposed to have like a lion's tail or some shit. Why don't we turn him into a heartless? <laughs> That'll settle things quick enough. And the black friends of a king's lackeys. Swung on the ice, they're all built rats by the look of them. You're no prize yourself. <laughs> Shut up! Enough! The Keyblade has chosen him. Will it be he who conquers the darkness? Or will the darkness swallow him? Either way, he could be quite useful. I can be useful, I can. Make sure you prepare for the journey ahead of you. We don't know how far the Heartless has spread. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot. For beating Leon, you get a nice little extra perk. Check out the shops. They got pr uh, pretty awesome shit. This is from all of us. Spend it as you see fit. And this is from kicking Leon's ass. An elixir. Good luck. I hope you find your friends. Look out for each other. Keep your spirits up. The gummy ship's outside that gate. Just walk outside and it's just... It's just... It, it, the world is flat. It just ends. The what? That's our ship. Wait till you see it. Hold on. Sora, this is for you. I now bestow upon you the ability to use fire. Now you can use magic too! Man, it's like I'm at Disney World. Goofy, give him the other thing. What? You know. Oh yeah. The ability to use your body. Activate abilities and blah 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 blah. Okay, cool. Abilities allow you to do all sorts of things. Guess we should look for them along the way, huh? Yeah, just physically look for abilities. That's how that's how that works. Okay. <laughs> that's that. Let's get going. Not till we're ready. Well oh uh, fuck, I forgot you existed already, Jimmy. God damn it. Well I see big ventures coming their way. Looks like it's up to me to keep a track of all of it in my journal. And then we'll fuck up the journal. And then we'll make a game based on that journal. Fucking hate you, Jimmy. So with Jiminy, you unlock the journal. Here, you can look at uh, the story so far if you if you want to, blah, blah, blah. For the most part, you don't have to worry about it. Characters you meet along the way, and their dossiers, or uh, whatever the fuck you want to call them, bios, who cares. The journal is, uh, in Kingdom Hearts 1, it's not too bad. In Kingdom Hearts 2? Oh boy. Oh boy. And I, I, don't, I didn't even attempt 100% in Kingdom Hearts 3. And then there's also Birth by Sleep and all the other ones. Oh god. Oh god. Anyways, equipment. I'm gonna replace Protect Chain with. Oh shit. Never mind. Hmm. I'd rather keep my defense as high as possible. I mean, my strength will go up, which is nice, but I'm not too worried about that. I'd rather have longevity. So. You can equip Donald and Goofy with wonderful stuff. Uh, here's the thing that I like to do. Head over to Customize. Head over to Donald and Goofy. Set their bullshit. Regular attacks frequently. Offensive magic. Uh, frequently. Defensive constantly. Advance frequently. And emergencies only, really. Well, I mean, there's really no reason for this until... Uh, you know until you're having a hard time with a boss and you need to give them an item or two. As for Goofy, constantly, frequently, 
Uh, special attacks and shield techniques are two different things. Uh, special attack. Mm. Support actions constantly. And that's what I like to do. That's what I like to do for those guys. All right. As for Sora, come here. Put fire on square because if you don't, you're a fucking monster. I don't know anybody who uses the triangle button for fire. You're you gotta be insane. You have to be. Uh, as for items, make sure. Oh, uh, yeah. Make sure you just take their items. They don't need them. They don't need them. Don't trust them with items, with consumables. It doesn't matter if your teammates die. At least if you're trying to do dry form shit in Kingdom Hearts 2. Uh, stock. Do I have anything important? No. I'm gonna hold on to my stuff. And as for hmm, when it comes to strength, give it to Goofy. Goofy's pretty much our our uh, what you call it. He's pretty much our fighter class, I guess, if, if you want to say that. You know, he's not good with magic, but he's good with the uh, defense and offense. Donald's our run of the muck, black mage, good magic, health is dog shit, defense is even worse, probably. Uh, we'll also heal you and stuff like that. Well, we'll try his best to heal you anyways. And then, you know, Sora's just whatever the hell you want to make him, I guess. I, I don't know. It's, nah, it's whatever. <clears throat> all right and donald will always be below your level until you get to max level of course but donald will always be below your level goofy will always be above and i know what you might be thinking right now where the fuck is pluto well guess what no one cares so stop asking questions and get a move on oh shit almost forgot abilities We get to give them wonderful abilities because, um, get lucky strike. You're going to need that for synthesis items. <clears throat> um, if you have lucky strike, I would say, I'm not sure if jackpot will combat that. Will fuck up stuff from lucky strike. Receive more money, HP balls and battles, acquire the entire bar. Okay. Actually, I don't, I, yeah, I don't think that would mess up your chances, right? Uh, charge, rocket, treasure magnet, tornado. Get tornado. Tornadoes are actually really good. Rocket is pretty much an uppercut that Goofy does with his shield, and charge is, well, he charges in with his shield. He basically, he basically turns to Captain America in fucking Marvel vs. Capcom. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with that over rocket. As for shared, oh, actually, we don't share it, do we? Dodge roll. Make sure you have that on for Sora. Oh yeah, and just in case, scan reveals the enemy's HP to you, up in the corner. And with dodge roll, I feel complete now. Thank you. Hey, look at this mark. I wonder what it is. This is a trinity mark. They appear in many places, only blue ones only, you can only react to the blue ones in the beginning of the game. Sora, Donald, and Goofy can perform various Trinity moves besides the three marks. Uh, besides the three marks? Wh whatever. Basically, uh, there's a handful of Trinity marks throughout the world. You, uh, there's different colors of Trinity marks. Throughout the game, you gain the ability to use, uh, you know, to do the other Trinity bullshit. But the only characters that can do them is Sora, Donald, and Goofy. You need all of them in your party, which basically makes it really annoying when you switch out a party member. Because you cannot change them on the fly. So for the most part, whenever you go to a new world and it's like, do you want to add another party member? You go, why would I do that if I'm trying to go for the Trinity Marks? The green cursor shows your current position. Select your next destination with the cursor. Observe the battle level when selecting destinations. More stars mean it's stronger heartless in that world. Chip and Dale, they are our wonderful uh, technicians working remotely from Disney Castle. We will never go to Disney Castle, not in this game, so why they even put it up there on the map? I don't know. I really don't. Uh, so, let's head over here to the first world. We travel to different worlds on the gummy ship. 
The Heartless ships often give us some hard times. Somehow Heartless know how to control ships. Always be on the lookout during flight. Your journey will be documented until you reach your destination. Seek out the mission. Uh, seek out the missions each world has to offer. Oh my god! I just realized. Uh, does does Gummy? No, Gummy ship mission doesn't doesn't uh that doesn't affect the hundred percent stuff, right? No, I don't think it does. I think it only affects um it only affects what call it trophies. Build it up to descend and down to to ascend. Blue gauge shows the power level. Firing lasers, among other things, consume that power. The green gauge shows your strength and your armor. If it reaches zero, you're fucking dead. Alright, cool. Now, Gummy Ship is a staple of the Kingdom Hearts series, and I wish it wasn't. I wish they just went back to what they did in Birth by Sleep, where you didn't have to do any type of Gummy Ship mission. But Gummy Ship is how you traverse through worlds. It's a nice little... Well, not nice, but it's a little thing you do. You get the worlds past the time. Maybe Kingdom Hearts 3 would have been better if they didn't focus so much on the goddamn gummy ship and made more worlds for us to do. You never thought about that? I fucking hate you to soon no more, goddammit. Honestly, I don't even know why they changed the shit and the gummy ship stuff in Kingdom Hearts 3. The one in Kingdom Hearts 2 is the best. Kingdom Hearts 2 is the best, period. <laughs> like, come on. But later on, you can customize your gummy ship. They really don't talk, tell you too much about it, which kind of sucks, right? And then once you get there, it's a little bit, it's a little, it might be a little overwhelming, but you know what? Off screen, I'm gonna, there's really no reason to show it off, but I'll, I'll show off a little bit of it. But off screen, I'm gonna make a different gummy ship so that we can go through worlds faster. But as of right now, in the beginning, we're gonna go pretty slow. By the way, to shoot the gun, you, you press the circle button, but I hold it. Because there's, like, zero reason to never be holding it. Like, let's be honest, why would you ever stop firing if, they, if it doesn't consume anything? Just always be on guard. And that's pretty much it for the gummy ship, it overstays its welcome. Like, right now, it should, it really should be over. It honestly doesn't add much to the experience. New high score! Disembark. Welcome to Wonderland. Probably one of the worst starting levels in a video game. I honestly think it might be worse than uh, Majora's Mask Clock Town. Oh my word, this is... I'm late, I'm late, I'm late! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear! I'm here, I should be there! Oh, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late! Oh, the queen, she grabbed my head for sure! All right, over here we find ourselves a nice green trinity which we cannot interact with, so let's keep moving. Hello, Mr. Doorknob. How did he get so small? Uh, no, you're simply too big. You call me fat? Must you be so loud? You woke me up. <sighs> Good morning. Good night. I need a bit more sleep. Wait, mm. what do we have to do to grow small? Why don't you try the bottle? Over there. Or, or here's a different idea. With your giant size and your giant clown feet, Sora, you can just fucking kick the door in. But, you know, we're too nice. So, what's really awesome here, really great, is that there's a couple of reasons why Wonderland is not the best starting level. One, I mean, in terms of Alice in Wonderland, it's pretty true to form, you know, it's crazy, it's kooky, it's wacky, haha, <laughs> up it's down, down is up, whatever, who cares? Um, but let's, let's start off with what's annoying for starters. What's annoying is that... You come here, you're like, how the fuck do I get small? The doorknob's like, oh, just drink the bottle, bitch. So you drink the bottle. Now you're small. And you're like, well, time to go talk to the doorknob.
Hi, Mr. Doorknob. Oh, he's asleep, and we can't, we can't open it. Well, that, that's weird. Maybe there's something else I have to do while I'm small. And then, we'll probably run around for like, a couple of minutes. Because, you're like, well, there's a little area over here, what if I, what if I check over here? Oh, this is nothing, okay. Now, get the fuck out of my way, Goofy. Right? What are you doing? Hold up. Hey. Hey, jackass. What are you doing? <laughs> my dog my dog is currently digging in his bed. Hey. Cut it out. Jesus, you're going to get me killed. All right. Now that I'm looking at it, I really should have changed the tags the uh, stream. I should have switched one out. I have one on there that says first playthrough. That is a obvious lie. <laughs> I should switch that out. Actually, I'm going to switch that out right now. Give me like two seconds to do that. Alright. Uh, where is... Edit the stream info. Head to tags... And take down first playthrough because we are not doing a first playthrough, but we are doing 100%. Thank you. Just put that up there. Try not to deter people. There you go. There you go. All right. I'll still keep the no spoilers up though, for uh, you know, so people don't go crazy and be like, "Hey man, what about the future game?" Just in case anyone cares about Kingdom Hearts spoilers, fucking god. <laughs> I mean, it's not too crazy if you care. I used to care, now I don't. Anyways, once you're done fucking about, you're gonna come over here, get big again, get swole, put that protein powder in your face, and push this bed over. And that's how you proceed. Then you gotta turn small again. Also, while you're over here, I think... Is there something else you can do while you're big over here? I feel like there is, right? Isn't there something I can, like, knock over or something? Hmm. Maybe later on. Yeah, maybe later on, right? Wait, no, there's this bear here. Oh, wait, no, I gotta be small. Okay, yeah, never mind. That's all we can do for now. Alright. Hop on down. And go over here through this nice little hidey hole. Yes, Amber Heard, you are. Her Majesty, the Queen of Hearts, presiding. Just wait till Jack Sparrow gets here. You're gonna be in so much trouble. This girl is the culprit. There's Stop scratching no your bed. What are you doing? About it. And the reason is because I say so. That's why. That it sounds reasonable. Fair. Well, have you anything to say in your defense? Of course. I've done absolutely nothing That also wrong. sounds very You're reasonable. Queen, but I'm afraid that doesn't give you the right to be so... so mean. Silence! You dare defy me? How dare you drop bars in my court? Hey guys, we should help her out. We're outsiders, so wouldn't that be muddling? Oh yeah, <laughs> and that's against the rules. The court finds the defendant guilty as charged. For the crimes of assault and attempted theft of my heart. <gasps> Queen, you taking my heart right now. No, no! Oh, please! Hold it right there! Who are you? How dare you? I'm the man that's gonna rock your world. Excuse me, but we know who the real culprit is. Uh huh. It's the heart. Anyway, she's not the one you're looking for. That's nonsense. Have you any proof? Uh. Bring me evidence of Alice's innocence. Fail, and it's off with all your heads. 
Gather as much or little evidence as you please. Report back here once you're all ready. What the fuck are you doing? Can you stop scratching your bed every single time? Every t He's fine all day. My dog is fine all day. He's a he's adorable little jackass and I love him. But every time I stream, he's either making a shit ton of noises or he's just starting to fuck with shit. Every single time. Without fail. Alright. So now we're off on a mission to go prove Alice's innocence. How you hanging in there, Alice? You doing good? You want a cracker? Who are you? I'm Sora. I'm Goofy. <laughs> I'm Goofy. And <laughs> this is Donald. Please. Uh, pleased to meet you. <laughs> I'm Goofy, and this is the new Pokemon starter in Scarlet and Violet. Pleased to meet you, though. Though I do wish it was under better circumstances. I'm sorry you got mixed up in this nonsense. Okay. Why are you on trial in the first place? I should like to know the very same thing. Apparently, I was guilty from the moment I took the stand. That's crazy. What is this, America? <laughs> so where are you from? Um, curious. I quite, I can't quite remember. What? Hey, what? Okay. You see, I found this mysterious rabbit hole. It's called 4chan. When I tried to peek inside, I tumbled in head over heels, and I found myself here. So, you're from another world. That's funny. Maybe you don't need a ship then. I don't get it. What do you mean, another world? Enough! The defendant will be silent! Or you'll do what? Do not speak to the defendant. Oh, if only I had peeked inside the rabbit hole. I guess I'm a bit too curious for my own good. Alright. <laughs> there he is! It's the Cheshire Cat. I always like the Cheshire Cat. I don't know why, though. I mean, let's be honest, as shitty as uh, Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland was, I love the design for that fucking cat. Who are you? Who indeed? Stop being a smartass, okay? Poor Al is soon to lose her head and she's not guilty of a thing. Hey, if you know who the culprit is, why don't you tell us? The Cheshire Cat has all the answers but doesn't always tell. Why? Because I'm a dickhead. The answer, the culprit, the cat all lies in darkness. Why have I mixed it? Wait! They've already left the forest. I won't tell which way. There are four pieces of evidence in all. Three are a stitch to find. The fourth is tricky. Big reward if you find them all. Should we trust them? To trust or not to trust? I trust you'll decide. Jackass. I hate you. Alright. That's like my go-to segue word. Alright. Okay, here we go. Wahoo, it's a me, Mario. Oh my god, I really hope. <laughs> Man, every single time I think about it and it's like, Chris Pratt as Mario, I'm like, oh. Oh no. <laughs> right? I, I don't know what... I guess I get why Nintendo would... Would choose Mario for their first movie because it's the, it's the safest bet ever in terms of like marketing and shit and like if it fails it's like oh well it's mario he's our mascot we're never gonna get rid of the little bastard but but like in in terms of story mario is the most blandest thing ever a uh, giant hong kong dinosaur bowser stole stole the princess time for the plumber to go save her that's it you saved her you beat the dragon dinosaur thing. Congrats. And that's it, really. Right? Meanwhile, they can... Meanwhile, they can fucking just... Do another Kid Icarus shit if they want, right? Do Zelda. Metroid. I mean, they practically are... I mean, Mother... Mother Rim is practically already a fucking Metroid movie. I mean, it's not a good one, but it pretty much is. It's the... It's the Final Fantasy Spirited Away. Uh, not Spirited Away. Is that what it's called? Spirits Within, my bad. Spirits Within of Nintendo, right? There's that. There's, I mean, 
you can always just do F Zero, <laughs> right? Star Fox too. Uh, Nintendo also had like an animation team, like for, like for those Kid Icarus shorts, the uh, Star Fox little OVA thing they did, and um, and like the Pikmin shorts. So it's like, why? Why are you? I'm not sure if they said the movie was live action or not, but. I really hope it's not. <laughs> right? And if it is, why, why are you going that route? I mean, it won't be all bad. I mean, you, you can, you know, you can maybe make a Sonic. <laughs> right? I haven't watched Sonic 2 yet, but I have watched the first Sonic. And I gotta say, you know, it's a kid's movie, right? But it's actually pretty goddamn good. Um, Alright, so as I was running around... I failed to mention a couple of things because I was talking about Chris Pratt being fucking Mario. Now, we opened the chest with some Dalmatians in it. Uh, scan G. Whenever you see something that has G at the end of it, that's a gummy ship block part that you use to build ships with. So don't worry too much about them. You honestly can beat this whole entire game without fucking around with the gummy ship stuff. It's not that important. Um, we open a box of Dalmatians. Back in Traverse Town, there's the Dalm the 101 Dalmatians house. Apparently, they all got scattered when their world got fucked up. So if you find all of them, you get wonderful prizes. Not only do we, not only are we going to do that for 100%, but we also are going to do that mainly because you can break the game once you get the stuff that you want from it. Too big to eat. Oh wait, too big to eat what? Oh, how the fuck do I get? Oh yeah, my bad. Here's the thing. You gotta go and talk to a flower. Give me an ether. I'm not gonna do that. Give me a potion and I'll make you bigger. Great, thank you. Here you go. Flower. Alright. Now, you can smack this over here. That's supposed to make it easier for you to get the uh, the scan G, but I already got it because I'm a, I'm a master at what the hell I do. Jump on the stump. Cool. Uh, what else do we need to do at this current moment? Actually, we didn't even need to get bigger yet, so I kind of just wasted a potion. <coughs> but it's okay. I got like, I got like a shit ton of them. So whatever. All right. Walk over here. Now let's say hello to the. Uh, wait, I killed them all already. God damn it. Okay, uh, this is in the way, so instead of, instead of going that way, we gotta do this. Which way am I, am I going up there? No, I don't think I'm going up there. Am I? Maybe. I mean, nothing's gonna stop me, right? I can, I can get up there. Can I get up there? Well. Oh, wait a minute, yeah, never mind. Well, I don't have to go up there anyways. I don't think I have to. Head over here. Boom. Oh, shit. I almost didn't make that. All right. So, yeah, you grab the, the pink, boxes, uh, pink boxes, and those have the, uh, <clears throat> the evidence in them. We got three of them. There's a total of four. And if you get the four, like, with all this evidence, you can just hand it in to the queen if you want and just move on with the next stuff. But if you get all, all four of them, you get a prize, and the prize is really not that important because you're gonna end up getting it anyways. But let's go get it. Got a shit ton of potions, so don't worry about this. I actually am gonna hit this. Oh, my bad, but I gotta smack this down first. Boom. Now, if you want to, you can give stuff to the uh, flowers. They'll give you potions and shit. I, did I do the Trinity thing over here? I did. Okay, cool. They'll give you potions and shit if you want. Um, and yeah. But it's not really important, so don't worry about it. I went the wrong way. So this is why... This is another reason why Alice in Wonderland is not the best starting world. Right, because 
Kingdom Hearts 1, if you haven't if you haven't realized already yet, it is not it is not a good platformer, right? And you know, having vertical stages. Where am I right now? I I need to Oh shit, I'm not where I wanna be. Hmm. I wanna be over there. Why the fuck am I over here? There's literally nothing for me to do over here. Yeah. It's been a while since I played Kingdom Hearts 1. <laughs> I don't remember everything. Okay? Alright. Do 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 do. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna jump up here. Oh, yeah, my bad. This way. This is where I want to be. You want to come over here and you want to push Donald off. Die. There you go. Get as close to the edge as possible because, this again, this game's not a platformer. And then when you're ready, take a leap of faith. And there you go, claw marks. Well, look! You, uh, look what you found! Nice going, dickhead! Now we can save Alice. Don't be so sure. She may be innocent, but what about you? What the hell does that mean? I won't tell, but I'll give you something. Obtain the power of ice. Blizzard! Yay, you get to use Blizzard early if you get the fourth clue. Will this automatically go to triangle? Okay, cool, that goes to triangle, which is good, that's fine. Also, I'm gonna... Head over here and and give myself more potions because it's me we're talking about here, and I'm worth it. I deserve it. Go down. We. All right. Now with all that evidence in hand, we can go hand it into uh, the queen. Yes, my queen. I brought the evidence. There you go. You better bring your evidence soon. Oh, my bad. You gotta show it to the card guy. Are you ready to present evidence before the queen? Yes. Very well. Council, set up. Uh, step up. Uh, fuck. Step up to the podium. Now, show me what you found. Read them and weep. Well, that's certainly a lot of evidence, but I'm still not impressed. Cards! Bring forth my evidence. Boom. Hmm, checking all five would be a waste of time. Alright, then choose the one you wish to present. I'll decide who's guilty based on that evidence. What? After all the trouble of collecting it? You dare object? Then you will lose your head. Now, choose. One box. So, the more evidence you have, the, uh better of your chances of winning because she will always present one piece of evidence for herself I always choose uh, the one farthest over here it's a complete random chance because one I remember one time doing it and it fucked me over all right if you chose the wrong one Donald and Goofy would pop up on the uh, you know from the box and then she would put them in a nice little cage for you. What in the world was that? There's your evidence. Alice is innocent. Mm. Silence! I'm the law here. Article 29, anyone who defies the queen is guilty. That's crazy. Seize them at once. You shall seize them, my card warriors. And once they are under our custody, we will force them to crank that. Now, if Donald and Goofy are in the cage, uh, they will not be able to help you out during this part here. Now you can fight the card soldiers. They will, they'll become unconscious. You don't actually kill them. What you gotta do is lower the stuff for Alice. And I think you can... I think you can hit her with Blizzard, right? Yeah, and I think if you hit her enough, you can get the cards to, uh, to, like, become discombobulated for a moment. 
But pretty much all you want to do is just, you know, destroy this. Make sure you pick up the money too. Because unlike Kingdom Hearts 2, I don't think you get all the money if you uh, finish the, um, if you finish the mission or whatever. The money doesn't get absorbed into your body. There we go. Houdini. She must have gotten kidnapped while we were fighting. How how that's possible, I don't know, but but it happened. You fools! Find the one who's behind this. I don't care how. Quit dawdling. Oh, okay. Yes, my queen. Alright. I'm gonna run over here and get myself a nice little... Nice little... Little doobit dat Right there. One full checkpoint. Did I get... I didn't get any abilities for that, right? Am I crazy? No, I didn't. Alright, cool. Have you seen Alice? Alice, no, but shadows, yes. Where'd they go? This way, that way, does it matter? Left, right, up, down, all mixed up thanks to the shadows. Step deeper into the forest to the deserted garden. Deserted? Yeah, desert, uh, desert, desert, desert? I don't know, whatever, damn it. <clears throat> you might find shadows in the upside down room. All right, say hello to a new enemy. This is called the large body, I think, or fat body. I forgot, they changed the name in one of the games. Uh, basically, you can't attack it head on. It's big old belly shields it, and once it gets down to 25% health, I think, it starts acting crazy. Gets powered up. That's pretty much it. Oh, but you can hit it. Uh, you can hit it from the front. That's what she said. You can hit that shit from the front with some of that magical pop. -pop. If you know what I'm talking about. Alright, now this is where you wanna get big. Get big, get swole. There you go. You just wanna push that over there. Alright. Uh, I don't think. There's really no need to to head back to the other to the other entrance way up there. Oh, these guys are called blazes, I think. Red hots or something. I don't know. They got stupid names. Basically, they're little fire mages. They shoot fire. They're very susceptible to uh, ice, as you can see. And if you hit them with ice, you get uh, tech points for it. Also, speaking of fire and ice, fire. Uh, here's how magic works, actually. So you see our little magic meter over there? Got some wonderful yellow on it. The, the big blue bar gets translated into, you know, smaller yellow bars, considering how, how much magic you have, you know, as it goes around. So, bam, use one magic, little yellow goes down, finish the yellows, then you use the blue, then you get more yellows. That's how it works. Uh, your fire magic acts as a Kind of like a pistol shot, pretty much. And your blizzard is more of a shotgun. Your fire magic has a little bit of a homing property to it. But blizzard magic has short range. Oh shit, did you... Goofy, did you reflect that? That's pretty cool. And the way you get magic back is uh, either through hitting enemies... Right? These little bubbles, right here, that I just picked up. Or abilities that will help you, like, um... That will help you, like, like, uh, what you call it, MP haste. I'm actually gonna... How much is MP haste? Three? 
Nah. Purple drive. Dodgeball combo. Ah, do I need combo? Ah, purple drive. Ah, ah. I'm not too worried about magic right now. Yeah, but, um... You know, MP Rage, which you get more magic the more you get hit. And then you can also stack MP Haste with more MP Haste and stuff like that. Speaking about abilities and shit, I forgot to show it off. Later on, you will get the ability to have different weapons. Each weapon has their own properties to it. For example, the Keyblade pretty much is it's not the strongest it's your starting weapon but later on you'll get different weapons different keyblades that will uh have different properties like easier critical hits easier deflections uh powerful on regular hits but weak on on the final hit finishing hit a very merry unbirthday so here we have the party room the tea party garden right in the tea party garden you can Try your hand at luck, and by luck, I mean sit in all the shitty looking chairs. So the nice cushiony ones, avoid those. The shitty ones, sit in them. If I can, if I can sit in it, I would like, I would like to sit in the chair. Oh wait, my bad, I gotta read this again. Sit down and get your present. Okay, there we go. So sit in all the wooden chairs. Pretty much. And you get nice stick. And then the picture gets happier and happier. So, sit in this chair. It doesn't matter where Donald and Goofy sit. It matters where you sit. Get some wonderful items. All right. Sit in this one. You can only do this once, by the way. And sit in this nice little pink rabbit one. All right. And those are all the good choices. A very merry birthday. Indeed. Indeed. And if you sit in the bad chairs, you get a wonderful cake. But the cake is a lie. And you get attacked by Heartless. And then these guys get super scared. And you don't really get to read the description of that. Hmm. It's kind of weird. They're hiding somewhere in the in a mono monorath Ugh. and the monorath's outguard. What to find? The, uh, want to find the shadows? Try turning on the lights. Stop deflecting my fucking hits! Are you serious? Ooh. Damn, Donald, I saw that fire. He threw that shit out with some heat. Ow. Ow, fuck, Donald. Help me, man. Oh, is he out of MP? Wait, no, he's not. What the fuck? Why are you... Donald. Come on, man. So come up here and light the torches. That's what they call them in, in the good old English, in the good old Britain. It's too dim, make it brighter. What's next? Well, more lamp that you need to light. All the lights are on. You'll see the shadows soon. They'll arise in this room, but somewhere else. The shadows might go after the doorknob, too. Alright, now that we're done here, I don't think there's a trinity in here for us, a blue trinity or anything like that. You can still, you know, <clears throat> feel free to adventure around, but I would say it doesn't matter until you, till later in the game, then you should worry about it. So unlock this, hit the Queen's Castle, all this twisty and turny bullshit, topsy-turvy, Thundara G. On the other side, uh, that's where some more Dalmatians are at, I believe. And then save your game and prepare for your first official boss fight. Well, not now anyways.
like two seconds from now though. You'll have a better view from up high. That I will, that I will. I'm actually gonna drink this real quick. Because now that I'm big... Oh shit, I didn't mean to go back. Oh, go, go. Small ass room. Can I still not turn this? Hmm. I'll worry about it later. Alright. Once you're ready, talk to the Cheshire Cat. The shadow should be here soon. Are you prepared for the worst? If not, too bad. Sucks to be you. Say hello to the Trick Master. A pathetic boss of a Heartless in the original Kingdom Hearts. But here in Final Mix, both on both on normal and proud mode, especially on proud mode, they made him a little bit not hard, but heavy hitting. He'll run around and be tall and scary and menacing. And then he'll swing and maybe hit you once in a while. The more you hit him, the quicker you'll get to him getting dazed up. And if you have Blizzard, it will help you in the fight a little later. But we are fucking him up. Now at some point, uh, also you can use this to help you out, but at some point he'll get tired of your shit if you keep jumping off on the table, and then he'll do this. He'll hit the items down to the ground, so you cannot use them anymore. You still, I think you can still kind of get up on the table, right? Yeah. And once he's tired of that bullshit there too, he'll walk over to the stove, set his little, his little, uh, batons ablaze and start using fires. They'll hit you with fireballs that hurt like a bitch. But, if you get a good angle, you can do that and get rid of the fire on his uh, batons. But, you know, since I'm overpowered as shit, he's dead already. Now, please do not sleep on him in proud mode because if he hits you a couple of times, he will it will hurt like a bitch. Even though, you know, it shouldn't be too hard. And congratulations, you defeated your fast, your your fast, your fast boss, your first boss. You obtained Ifrit's horn. Why the trickmaster has the horn of a demon goat creature? I don't know. What a racket! How's a doorknob to get any sleep? You don't. You're a doorknob. Now open wide. Sorry, I got a little bit excited there. Should have took you out for dinner first. What was that? You heard that? It sounded like something closed. Oh damn it, I made it pregnant. This gummy ain't like the others, no sir. Okay, I'll hold on to it. Damn it, Sora, don't you know when to use protection? Splendid! You're quite the hero. If you're looking for Alice, she's not here. She's gone, off with the shadows into darkness. No. That's fucked up cat speak for man dog, she gone. The, the Heartless got her. She probably did. Let's go back to our gummy ship. We might find her in another world. We gotta go to a save point to return to our ship. Alright. So, like, in some worlds, like, you know, whatchamacallit, uh, Traverse Town, you can just walk out a gate and you'll be at the gummy ship. In other worlds, you need to go to a save point, click on gummy ship, and get your ass in there. That's pretty much it for Alice in Wonderland as of right now. Honestly, if you don't want to, you don't ever have to come back. Now, here's the annoying part about Kingdom Hearts 1. You would assume that the next world we need to go to 
would be one with just like maybe one more battle level, right? Like this one. But we can't do that because we because there are two sets of drive. There's the normal drive, which is going through the gummy ship level, and then there's warp drive, which we won't get until later. So if you want to head to this world, which should be the next one you go to because of because you know it's you know it's the it's the easier one right you had to go to Traverse Town do the mission to get to Traverse Town then go over here or you can just go to the new world which is a stronger battle rating which you might not be ready for kind of dumb when you think about it it's like why not why not just why not just make the other world there or just make it so I can just go straight to the other world and not have to make it to Traverse Town. I mean, it is a video game. You don't gotta be you don't gotta be true to form every single goddamn time, right? Something called entertainment. Play video games for fun. If I want to feel sad and depressed the whole entire time, I play Last of Us 2. <laughs> Too much. I'll reel it back a little bit. Alright. So let's make our way to the next world. Which, if you want, you can you can honestly just walk on out and not do it. Right? Maybe that's why they put it there. But, you know. You're going to have to come back to it at some point. Man, I got to get a... I gotta get a gummy part for the ship. So we're not here forever in the fucking gummy ship world thing. Also, I gotta get up and stretch a bit. I fucking hate this chair. <laughs> but it's... I hate the chair that I'm on. This fucking stupid ass gaming chair. It's, it's nice and mobile, but in terms of comfortability, once you sit on it for like longer than an hour, you're pretty much fucked, right? And I usually would sit down in a nice little recliner chair, right? But the problem with that is that I don't get to have the microphone at an angle that I like. And on top of that, that chair is kind of squeaky as hell, right? Like, it's super comfortable, but it's also squeaky. Oh, wait. Did they change the location of the world? Holy shit, really? Might be a final mix thing. Huh. Well, color me impressed then. Hey, Donald. Maybe King Mickey's down there. In a backwater place like that? No way. Because the king most assuredly won't go into a jungle to look for secrets. Nuh-uh. Let's move on. Hold on. Riku and Kairi might be down there. Let's just check it out. Forget it. We're on an important mission. Just land. I like to point out that I'm playing this on a PS5, not to brag or anything, but this is a PS4 game running on a PS5, which is a remaster of a PS2 game. I don't know if it's optimization or something, but I don't know why it takes forever for the text on these box to load for fucking Sora and Donald to talk and shit. It's... Look how long that took. It's weird. I never liked it. Look how long that took. Oh, God. Ah, oh, phooey. Maybe I'm just spoiled. No, I'm not even spoiled. You know what? Because it was this long in fucking the PS2 version too. But it's like, you would expect it to be better. It's just making text pop. We're landing! Don't touch that. No! Get fucked up out here. Don't worry, I fought Heartless before. This shouldn't be a problem. Ow, fuck. Ow, you, you hurt. Oh, come on. 
set that bitch on fire. Take that. Sora, how the fuck did you end up on the floor? Oh my god. You must be Tarzan Monkey Man. Swinging from a rubber band. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, what is this place? This place, this place. Okay. Where did the others go? Look. I got separated from my friends. Have you seen them? Mm -hmm. Friends. Dude, I would friends. love it if like Sora right. did that and then my Tarzan friends. just went, bro, There's stop two. talking to me the like I'm fucking got... slow. I'm just an ape man, okay? Uh -huh. You know what? Never mind. I'm looking for my friends. An Riku ape man with some mean ass dreads. Kind of jealous. Look. For Riku. Friends. Right. Kairi. Friends. Uh, yeah, she's right, right. there. Um. Oh, friend. Here. Really? Yeah, she's right there. Huh? I don't know what friends. the fuck that means. Here. Not sure I understand, but show me. Take me to Riku and Kairi. Tarzan. Tarzan. Go. And I'm Sora. Tarzan go. Sora go go. And go go gadget go go. <laughs> Welcome to the deep jungle. Another level. Which is... Probably a bad introduction to this game. <laughs> Gorge, where are we? I sure hope Sora's okay. You know what? Fuck you, Donald. I was just attacked by a goddamn jaguar. Okay. Well, jaguar, cheetah, cheetah. Yeah, cheetahs are the ones with spots, right? Jaguars don't have spots. Do they? Do jaguars have spots? Look at the chin on that man. Alright Tarzan, where are we going? Uh, oh, uh, okay. Tarzan's now on your team. That's cool. I'm actually gonna head to abilities. Well, first of all, Whenever you get a new teammate, first thing you want to do is just steal their shit. Really. They don't need it. Trust me. After that, you want to customize them. Uh, Tarzan, I want your defensive moves. Uh, you're going to go constantly, frequently, constantly, and only in emergencies. Thank you, Tarzan. Abilities. Uh, Berserk. Boost powers when HP is critically low. Hey, guess what? We're playing on Proud Mode? So, hey, buddy, if your HP is low, you're gonna be fucked, alright? Ape's Bite, Healing Herb, Wind Armor. You want that Wind Armor. It's basically Arrow. You want that. Second Wind, recovers from Chaos uh, quickly. Actually, I'd rather you have both these critical pluses and do damages. Do damage when you're up. That's pretty much it for Tarzan. You can give him equipment if you want, but... When it comes to these third party members, they're only here when you're in the respective worlds and they each have their own equipment slops and stuff. So it's really no reason, you have no reason to give it to them. Right? But anyways, Tarzan's my friend and I believe in him, so suicide pack. Death is always the answer. Actually, you know. <laughs> Alright, sorry. Hold up. Wait, listen. If you're actually in a dark spot in your life right now, I want you to understand that was a joke. Death is not the answer, okay? All right, let's just get let's get that settled before we both get in trouble for something. <laughs> All right? Okay. So welcome to Tarzan. Uh, 
hop down here and you get to do this wonderful mini game that I'm going to pull my hair out doing later. Right? I want you to slide down these wonderful trees. Now, I remember when I first played this game and I was like, this is kind of dumb. And then uh, the friend I was playing it with, they're like, what are you talking about? It was the coolest shit ever. Right? You slide down a tree like fucking Tarzan is cool. And I'm like, yeah, but you really don't control it. And guess what? This is about all you do. Maybe you hit a couple tree branches or jump over them and then that's it. Until later, down the road, <laughs> where you unlock a minigame. Alright. Uh, I'll come back for that later. I'm so tempted to pick it up now. Tarzan, it freaks me out how your forearms are bigger than your biceps. Oh, and who's this? Uh, hi there. I'm... Oh, you speak English. Damn lady, you so fucking so, fine. Obviously, you're not related to Tarzan. Are you here to study the gorillas? I always had a crush on Jane. Highly doubtful. Highly doubtful. Hmm. Sorrow! Goofy! Donald! <laughs> a circus of clowns. Not much use for hunting gorillas. This motherfucker said, Y'all's a bunch of clowns. Never mind, it's the hunting whole fucking gorillas? circus. Research. Well, the more the merrier. Do make yourselves at home. I don't know why they didn't put in the other characters for Tarzan in here. Maybe because they were working. Well, anyway, I'm saying. They were working on like huh? a, on a strict Whoa, permission. Look, what we found. look at this. <laughs> What's that? A gummy block. It's the same stuff used to build our ship. So that means the king could be here. So we gotta work together to look for him. For now. Fine, I'll let you tag along. For now. Got protect chi. Nice. Actually, the smart move would be for nice trinity spots to keep sword uh to keep sword on and goofy at all times but i'm not smart so i'm just gonna yeah you gonna you gonna get that you gonna get the fuck out of here donald because in terms of defensive magic tarzan's got my back i also want to point out something for you weird freaks out there jane miss jane over here miss jane porter over here i think her last name is porter or it's foster or something like that with her fine ass She's out here not wearing shoes, and I find that weird, especially since you just, you just got them hanging right there. You know, you're in the jungle, girl. You, when's the last time you got your tetanus shot? Just, come on, just, just right there. It kind of bothers me a little bit. Tarzan, I understand. He ain't got no shoes. That's cool. But this man's built up immunity over the years. He's an ape man. That's fine. You? You got no excuse. <laughs> you just out here being crazy. Apparently Tarzan was raised in the jungle by the gorillas. Communicating with him is still uh, still isn't easy, but he's learning. So he was speaking in gorilla back there. Ah, that's right, you're looking for your friends. He said Riku and Kairi are here, and one word I couldn't understand. Why don't we trust, uh, why don't we trust, why don't we try this? We'll show Tarzan some slides and see if any of them match the word. Oh, what happened to the slides? All right, so we got to go around the camp looking for slides. Uh, I always had a crush on Jane Porter. Ever since I was a little baby boo. First time I saw a Tarzan, I was like, damn, she's fine. <laughs> I don't understand these feelings that I have. I'm too young. Clayton's the name. Mm, my bad. <clears throat> Cl shit. Can I do the voice? Cl I, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not confident. No. Let me try this. Go realize. <laughs> Clayton's the name. I'm a hunter, not a researcher. Clayton. 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 For some reason, for, I'm not confident enough to do the voice. I know I can do it, though. I feel like an idiot. Alright. So go around the camp collecting the slides and stuff like that. There's eight in total. Doesn't matter which order you collect them in, really, as long as you get them. Um, jump up here. There's 
There's one. I think there's eight in total, or maybe six. I'm not sure. I think there's one up here. Get off the pole, Goofy. That's my job. Is there one up here? No. But there is one over here. Six. One. Five. Uh, I got the one that was sitting over here. Okay, then there is six in total. For some reason, I thought there was eight. Okay. And if you want, you can come over here and do a little bit of chemistry. Uh, cook pot, find recipe. Recipe is over here somewhere, I think. Uh, find two research notes. One of them, is it in here? Hmm. I don't know what that, I honestly don't know what that box is for. Uh, put potion in the pot. In the pot, quickly. Okay. Light the stove, be careful. Is there another one? I think you get like an elixir out of it. Replication experiment. Oh, it's replication. Okay. So. Wait, which one's the first step? It's not important, but. The potion and pot quickly. That says, that says step two, right? Recipe card two. And this one said recipe card one. Okay. Light stove and then just put the potion in there. Alright. Open that bitch up. Oh. Stove has been lit. Potion. Go oh shit. How to fuck. Alright, let's begin. Potions in the pot. Oh. Well, there we go. High potion. Thank you. Totally non necessary. I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna take a quick break real quick, because I fucking hate this guy. Take a quick break real quick. Yep, that's English for you. Take a uh <laughs> Take a break, because this seat is hurting my ass, and not in a good way. So, <laughs> so I'll be right back in a couple of minutes, right? Once I, uh, I don't know, I'll probably switch chairs out, see how that feels. If not, then I'll come back, and eh, I'll be back in like two minutes, don't worry.
All right, there's the audio. All right, took a little bit of break. I switched out my chair. You might hear a little squeakage here and there, but hopefully it's not too bad. It is very comfortable. It is a very, very fucking comfortable recliner chair. I'm gonna have to replace it though. Maybe next month. Maybe next month? Yeah, probably next month. I don't know. I recommend it for anybody. Get a recliner seat, pull it up to your computer. You don't need a computer chair, throw that shit out. Nobody needs that. <laughs> Right? Okay. Uh, here you go. What's wrong, Sora? What? Aw, oh, nothing. This place, it just looks so familiar. But how? I've never been off my island. Oh, look. It's a gorilla. Learn anything, Tarzan? Well, Tarzan? Where are my friends? Riku and Kairi? Damn, Jane, you so fucking fine. Hey, like, how is she fun. not... Like, I, I get... I get place. why she's not a Disney princess, you know? Young but man, she's princess of the jungle out here. jungle for some time now. But we have yet to encounter these friends of yours. I'd wager they're with the gorillas, but Tarzan refuses to take us to them. They're with the gorillas. <laughs> the way he says it. Tarzan wouldn't hide. Then take us there. Take us to the gorillas. Gorillas. Gorilla. <laughs> Fuck, man. Such a fun line. Tarzan, are you sure? Tarzan, go see Kerchak. Kerchak? He must be the leader. Perfect. I'll go along as an escort. After all, the jungle is a dangerous place. Out here looking like the fucking Negachin. Jesus. <laughs> it's the Negachin! <laughs> like, Jesus. Alright. I love how Tarzan looks at us and he's like, You know what? I've known you guys for, for like a better half of a year, but this guy... Oh, what the... Jesus! Fire. I forgot. Fire. Light that motherfucker on fire. There you go. Thought you was tough. Until I cooked your ass. Get out of here. Pouncing around and shit. I'm gonna go heal myself up. I honestly forgot about that. What's the name of that goddamn Jack? Tarzan, get the fuck out of my way, man. Who's the name of that jaguar cheetah thing? Sabor? I think that's its name. Alright, so the heads of gorillas were heading this way. Yeah, but Tarzan's like, I knew you guys for like a better half of a year. But this kid, I just met him like five minutes ago. You know what, though? I like your cut, G. Alright. Here's one of the main reasons why Deep Jungle is a pain in the ass for... Oh shit, are you kidding me? For one of the two intro levels. For, I mean, for your first couple levels you do. So, I, I said it earlier, but... Oh, come on, don't fucking do this to me, hippo. But, um... Kingdom Hearts is not a fucking platformer, at least Kingdom Hearts 1. And this jump right here has been the bane of my existence ever since I was a fucking child. So you want to go on the edge, and just kind of get there. You barely fucking make it, I swear, I hate it. Right? Now, you don't have to jump on this hippo. You can climb up the other vines and then swing... Uh, climb up the tree over there and then swing on the other vines or whatever, but... This is the faster way. Kerchak, please listen to me. For those who don't get it, he's speaking in monkey right see, now. He's very proficient in it. But I trust them. My bad, not monkey. Eight. You see, I want to help them. Because... Because, well, they need us. Oh, did you get that? No! Kerchak! Kerchak! You know what? I just realized. I said earlier, kind of freaked me out a little bit that its forearms are bigger than its biceps, but I forgot he walks like an ape. 
That's a lot of forearms for like, how old is Tarzan now? Like fucking what, 20? 20, 23 maybe? He seems sort of distracted by something. Was he looking towards the treehouse? Swing through the tree, or the treetops on the vines. Hey, and by swing they mean press the button. This ain't your fucking Spider-Man 2, man. There you go. You're swinging, you're doing it. Now be careful, there's a chance that one of these might be a snake. But I forgot where though, so... I think it happened to me once. <laughs> of my, of like all the years I've ever played this game, I think it happened to me a total of once. Alright. Make sure you pick up these Dalmatians. Trust me, you're gonna want that. You're gonna want that upgrade. Even if you're playing on the easiest mode possible, like on beginner, you're gonna want that upgrade. You're gonna want it. Now climb up here. Hmm. The flower is wilted. That's true. That is a wilted flower. Blizzard! Try my best. What the? The hell was that noise? Oh, it did open. When heartless draw near, the black flower, uh, the black flower grows black. Huh. Well, there's no heartless near, so I, I guess I did a good thing. I don't think you get anything for opening these. It's nice and beautiful, though. Do they keep Heartless at bay? Maybe that's why. No, no, Heartless don't don't appear yet. See ya. Yeah, for some reason in Kingdom Hearts one, Blizzard is Blizzard is water. <laughs> they they count it as that for some reason. Wait, Kerchak, please. Damn, Clayton. You don't understand. I was only trying to. Ah, a snake slithered by. You see, I saved that poor gorilla's life. I saved that poor gorilla's life. Oh. Well, snakes slithered by. <laughs> Out here talking about I look like a circus. My guy. Build a whole fucking carnival. Alright, well. Once, uh. Once you're once you're done witnessing attempted murder, hop on down and go through the trees. Goofy and Donald will not follow you. Only Tarzan can follow you through here. Why? I don't know why. Don't question it. Donald and Goofy go down the hard way. I go down the fun way. I'm a fun guy. Hey, I did it! I think that's the first time I ever hit all three trees. I feel, I feel proud. On proud mode. I'm proud about myself. I'm proud of myself. I'm cool. Where's that fucking jaguar? I keep calling it a jaguar. I don't know if it's a cheetah or a jaguar. I really don't. Oh, there you are. Yeah. You ain't tough when I got my crew with me. Get the fuck out of here. Actually, you know what? Let's put this to rest. What are you, a cheetah or a jaguar? Characters 2? Oh, Characters 2 is uh, characters from the world. Uh, Clayton Kerjack. Uh, Jane Porter. It is Porter. Sabor. A leopard. A leopard. I forgot leopards existed. 
a leopard feared by all who live in the jungle, and an enemy of Tarzan and the gorillas. Sabor is cunning, is a cunning hunter who targets the weak and helpless. He stalked onto the screen. He? I always thought Sabor was a girl. I really did. In the movie, don't they call Sabor a girl? You know what? It don't matter, but still. Huh. Really? Is Sabor... See, now you're opening more questions. Hold up. Wait a minute. He just, he just changed my childhood. It doesn't matter because the thing doesn't talk. It just kills. But still. I'm looking it up right now. Let's see. Hmm. Sabar's, uh, Sabar's. Sabor's gender is unknown, but within the Kingdom Hearts universe, it's credited as a male. However, Sabor was based on the loneliness from the Tarzan novel. From the what? Oh, the loneliness. The lioness from the Tarzan novels. So she is more likely female. Oh, that's why I thought it was a girl. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't matter. But, you know, my whole entire life, I'm sitting here, I'm like, yeah, Sabor, Sabor's, Sabor's a big cat mommy out here getting her fix how could you do such a thing now miss porter as i told you i was not aiming at the gorilla you are that man has more angles on his face than fucking willem dafoe oh jesus mishap. come now mm -hmm. those fucking strong ass cheekbones <laughs> What am I doing with these imbeciles? Imbeciles. <laughs> last of gorillas. I hunt down every last one of them. I'll track them down somehow. Oh, you just I heard his fucking hands life crack life. when he did that? Ugh. That was gross. How the fuck you do that, Clayton? Mm -hmm. Even those mean ass quads you got, my guy. You know when you can tell when a voice actor really loves what they're doing? Clayton's voice actor really loves being Clayton. Same thing with Ursula. I think... I think Ursula's voice actor is... I think I think she's uh, has passed now. Don't mind Mr. Clayton. He's not that bad of a person. But a bit... Impetuous? You mean your fancy London speak. I love how she, you heard a gunshot, man probably blasted his brains out, and she's like, I don't worry about him. <laughs> He's dead now. Heartless. Oh no. The Heartless caught the jungle fever. They had a taste of some of that forbidden fruit, if you know what I mean. Obtain Project G. Great. Why the fuck the gorilla was here in the in the camp? I do not know. But hey, Ugh, I'm yawning. But hey, we saved it. That's cool. Now we got to go around and save the other gorillas. Huh? You save them, you get a you get some gummy parts, which I'm not gonna say no to. I wish I had sliding dash though. Oh, never mind. Forget sliding dash. I got that. Oh, I forgot about that. I've been grinding for so long that. Oh shit. All right, Tarzan. Damn. Tame fire G. Thank you. You're a fire G. <laughs> Cliffside. The cliff bars. I'm not hungry right now. I ate a cliff bar. Actually, I'm pretty hungry. Eroga G. Or Eraga, however you want to pronounce it. I think there is a work that pole. Yes, Tarzan. Nuh uh, get back on there. I didn't tell you to stop. Come on. Get on there, Tarzan. You were so happy to do it before.
Yeah, Tarzan. That's what I like to see. A man with confidence. And a toned, fine toned buttocks. I'm talking about that Metal Gear Solid snake ass. <laughs> Alright. Oh, Tarzan has no more magic left, damn it. You don't have to fight the you don't have to fight the monkeys on the when you come back. You only gotta fight them once. I think they're called Power Wilds, right? I think that's their names. They're, oh my god, can I not can I stop missing all my fucking hits? Thank you. That'd be very wonderful. You son of a bitch! They're so slippery. Uh, good job, guys. You did most of the fighting. I'm actually very proud of you. Oh, money. I'm actually very proud of you. I love how Goofy just ran into the wall. Oh, I think this one's called a... Not a Sniper Wild. What is it called? Something Wild? I don't know. Don't remember. But it shoots from long distances. It doesn't hurt you that much, but it throws bananas on the floor. And it makes you lose money if you slip on a banana, so it's kind of annoying. These guys are known as White Mushrooms, I think, or something. They're going to do crazy shit like this. Uh, they play some Simon Says, and you got to figure out what they want. Oh my bad. That that meant that meant you were cold and you wanted fire. I'm sorry. These guys are gonna be very annoying when it comes to 100%. When they do that, that's when they want Blizzard. Now, what you usually want is for them to do the same thing three times in a row. Please, please, please. I can't see. I can't see. Tarzan, get the fuck out the way. Come on. No, 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 no. Get on your knees. Just like your mama taught you. <laughs> stop stop come on this is why they're annoying there you go get it three times in a row not only that they give you a prize but they also give you blizzard art the elemental art for uh for whatever it is but they are also kind of on a time limit they're not going to be here forever so right now we don't have all the magic to do it that one's for fire that one's for cure. That one's for cure. That one's for cure. Okay, you're a jackass, because if I had cure, you wouldn't have been doing it three times in a row. Four times in a row, asshole. That's for thunder. Fire! If you can do one more shiver, that will be wonderful, actually. Because I can't do the other ones. Up oh, and time limits up. All right. See, that's why they're fucking annoying. <laughs> that's why I hate them. You'll hate them too. You'll float too. All right. And just in case you can't jump up on the hippos, here's the other way you get up there. Vertical design for this game is not is not a good look. All right. Oh. This is for a mini game, I think. Time trial? Yeah, no, fuck that. I think I might have to do it later, though. I'm not sure. There we go. Uh, what's over here, actually? Oh, come on! <laughs> Damn it! Shit! No, I'm not gonna worry about it too much. We're, all, we're gonna end up coming back here anyways. Oh. Um, there we go. Get up on this hippo. I'm confident about this jump because I did it so many times as a kid. I failed it so many times. I have the experience to do it now. Alright. We don't have to worry about that. We can just climb up here. Now... Earlier I said, I don't know why the fuck the, uh, the grandpa's not here. Grandpa? Her dad. Uh, Jane's dad. I forgot his name. Maybe they just really didn't want to include him because they didn't see no need to. Or maybe, uh, because at the time this was made, back in the good old 2002. Hey, Rakaji, thank you. Back in the good old 2002. Um, or 2001, I, I don't remember. 
via um, Pixar wasn't owned by Disney yet. And Pixar is a Tarzan movie. One of the main reasons why you kind of don't see Tarzan later on down the road. Actually, that's a lie. You know what? No, I take that back. That's a lie. Maybe they just didn't want to do Tarzan again. Right? Because isn't... I think Chicken Little is owned by Pixar, right? And you see Chicken Little in uh, Kingdom Hearts 2. But it's not like a full world. It's like... A summon. There's no other Pixar movies in there. Uh, yeah, there's no other Pixar things in, in Kingdom Hearts 2, I think. I think that might be the only one. Obtain Shell G. Thank you. Alright, and that's pretty much it for all the apes. I don't think you actually have to save all of them. I think you just have to leave the camp area and run back. Can I do it like I did last time? Ah, oh, fuck. I failed. I wasn't able to do it. Oh, you guys are back. Come on. I'll do that. No, I don't have that. Please do it for, for me one more time. Yeah, you're my favorite. Hit me, baby, one more time. Another thing that they can throw at you, another synth uh, synthesis item is called Mysterious Goo. Yes, I know. We can all laugh at it. Chuckle it up, you chuckle fucks. Where the fuck is the other one? Are you kidding me? Is it? Oh, here it is. Can you do the fire thing for me? Yes, you can. Thank you. You also got to be pretty fast with it, because if they stop and you hit them, uh, you know what? Just to get it over with, I'll, I'll do this. There we go. Frost shark. Thank you. Yeah, but for the Mysterious Goo, I think you gotta hit them three times in a row with the same one. Come on. No. No. There you go. One more time. Come on. Come on, I trust you. Oh, you're an asshole. Come on, damn it. You did that on purpose, dickhead. Oh, you're still here. I hope Mr. Clayton's safe. What? Why are you still here? Well, here we go. We should check that out. That seems like trouble. Hey, it's a boy. Ah, fuck! Thought the cutscene was longer than that. Goofy, what the fuck are you doing all the way over there? Look at him. That's, this motherfucker's scared. They're both scared! Oh, there's that tornado I like to see. So, Sabor, this is the actual fight with Sabor. Sabor's gonna, you know, pretty much do everything it does before. But this time, Sabor's gonna be, uh... Thanks, thanks for the defense when I didn't need it, Tarzan. Thank you. Sabor's gonna be running in and out of the bamboo. Nothing too crazy. We killed an animal. This game is rated E for everyone. Actually, I'm not sure about that. I think it was right at T14. But whatever. White Fang. Literally killed it and tugged and just pulled its tooth out of its mouth. Now I wear it as a necklace.
Oh, damn, Tarzan. Jesus, I didn't get the... Okay, all right. I get that we I get that we're a little overpowered here, but come on, man. <laughs> a little overpowered. I'm like fucking 15 levels overpowered. Thank you, Tarzan. Thanks for giving it to me when we literally have one more enemy left. Oh wait. Never mind, I, I stand corrected. Two more enemies left. How the fuck am I missing? Thank you, Tarzan. Jesus. Power shard. I will take that. I really suck at fighting these power wilds. They're just all over the goddamn place. Maybe I should use magic more. There you go. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Stop running around. Just once it puts a banana down, like that, Goofy and Tarzan start tripping all over the fucking place. And that counts as my money, too. I don't need you guys losing my money. Hey, where's Jane? What's wrong, Tarzan? Something coming. Jane, danger. Jane near, near treehouse. Sounds like trouble. Get that good, that good health in there. Make our way to the treehouse. The world of Tarzan is actually not that big. It's a little underwhelming, actually. Maybe that's why they didn't go back to Tarzan yet. Because they wanted to, uh... Make it more vast. Or something like that. I don't know. I mean, if they wanted to... You know, they had the whole thing in Kingdom Hearts 3. They had, like, a whole-ass jungle there, but... They didn't really do anything with it, so... Maybe it's not... Maybe it's not like a limitation thing. Maybe, maybe Tatsuya more just sucks. <laughs> I would. I really wish we could go back to Tarzan like one more time. Jesus. So they can like give it a proper try. Well, I mean they give it a proper try here, but still like a, a better try. You know what? At the same time, at as I say that, I remember at the same time uh, they butchered uh, what you call it. A bunch of other worlds. The big plant fruit looks suspicious. Okay, well then let's hit it. That's all you gotta do. Tarzan, Goofy, you, you distract whatever's coming to attack me. The worst part about this though is that you can't lock onto the fucking fruit, which is annoying. I don't think you can lock onto it, can you? Let me see. Oh, you can. I stand corrected. Clayton came to the tent, and that's the last thing I remember. Clayton? Gorillas trapped. Turk ran. We must help the gorillas. I mean, we, we've already been doing that. But now Jane and uh, Turk are going to be up here. Where's the elephant? Don't worry about it. I forgot what the elephant's name even is. I don't, I don't think most people remember what the fuck the elephant's name is. Uh, I don't even know why I'm checking my my I wish call it my abilities. Oh, I want to check equipment. That's what I want to do. Obsidian ring, white fang. Ooh, I'm actually gonna switch that out. Goofy, you can have. Wait, I thought I had. Hold up, did I not check you for torn? Oh. Well then, yeah, give me a for one. I get an extra ability point. Reward, you can have the chain and obsidian ring. There you go. 
There you go, Goofy. Now I can have MP haste. I feel complete. Uh, where am I going again? Treehouse. No. We're heading to the, uh, the cliff side. Up here is also where you'll run into some more white mushrooms. So they can fuck around with you. That and we're gonna have to come back here at a later date for some bullshit that they added in Final Mix for no reason. Alright. Uh, we can save when we get down there. Now, if you need to go faster, if you need to go faster here on the uh, slidey thing, just hold up on the stick. Same thing going slower. You can pull back on the stick. Hey, I did it again. Hey, I feel accomplished today. Moral victory. Twice time over. Twice time over. That's not a, that's not a way to say that. You know what? I can do with a little caffeine right now, actually. My eyes are kind of getting a bit sleepy. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck's wrong with me recently. Last stream, I wanted to stream longer, but like, I was I was nodding off like super bad. Which one of you fuckers slipped on a banana? Losing my damn money. Yeah, but I don't know what the hell's been happening with me lately. I've just been like, very tired. Like, almost all the time. I, like, went to sleep twice today. There's no goddamn reason why I should be tired right now. But I am. I am. My eyes are heavy. I'm getting a little sleepy. Maybe I should just have a day where I force myself to stay awake. Reset my clock, you know? Some of that magic Fire. Fire. Oh shit. Fire. No. There we go. Good job, Tarzan. Tarzan. Tarzan! The thing that everybody on that dumb My Hero video I made kept correcting me on. It's like, wow guys, it's not like I made the video at 4 o'clock in the morning because I was... Because I was bored, but then I got somewhat tired and I fucking misspelled Tarzan. I'm sorry. Sorry, I don't know how to spell Tarzan. I don't think about it every day. <laughs> hey man, I think you misspelled Tarzan. Yeah, I did. Alright. Pick that up. Oh, Jesus. There's more of you guys. Should start using Blizzard more. Get that shotgun effect in. So A, I don't have to chase them down, and B, I can get multiple of them. Good job, Tarzan. couldn't shoot the gorillas. So instead, I decided to shoot Clayton. the kid. <laughs> Not Clayton. <laughs> Not Clayton. It, that is Clayton, Tarzan. And then, Clayton decides to shoot a child. He's a big guy. Say hello to the first pain in the ass of your playthrough. Damn!
Clayton is riding an invisible heartless that I I forgot the name of. I, ah, you shot me. I'm 14, dickhead. Uh, I forgot what it's called. I I think it's called the the stealth lizard or something. It's called something stupid. But yeah, it can go invisible, which who cares, right? Because you can just lock on to it, so it's not truly invisible. It shoots beams from its eyes, and it's not the main enemy, but it is being controlled by Clayton, and you want to kick its ass. That magic hurts like a bitch. Oh my god, as you can clearly see. <laughs> Knock it out, and then go to Clayton and kick his ass, because Clayton has potions, and he can bring it back to life. And that's the last thing you want to see that thing do, is come back to life. Damn, I'm kicking your ass. Now, of course I'm having an easier time because I'm overpowered as shit, but... On proud mode, it's gonna be a pain in the ass, especially since you don't have, uh, besides, you know, items, which take kind of a little bit to use, you don't have cure. Cure is what you really want. I never get this. It's a heartless, not a machine. So why does it malfunction? Attain the power of healing. You learned cure. By killing, we learned how to heal. Isn't that right? <laughs> You got some big ass forearms, my guy. You're welcome! You know, if you wanted me to go up there, you didn't have to throw me fucking 50 feet in the, in the goddamn sky, okay? Oh my god, look at the frame rate of how Tarzan got up there. Jesus, that was smooth as fuck. That was like really smooth. Man, Tarzan must have some fucking Tarzan. stupid crazy lats. God damn. I mean, he's doing calisthenics like 100% of the time. Alright. In here, make sure you grab some of these chests. I mean, you can always come back for them, but... I mean, why would you? Dalmatians, that's the important one. Ah, uh, come on, Sora. I know you can grab that. I've done it multiple times before. Come on. There you go. The thrill? There we go. Or Calcum? For the longest time, I did not know how to say the name of that thing. I forgot where I heard it from. But... First time I heard it, I was like, that's how you say it. Oh my god. It's Orcalcum. I, I just always called it Orcalcium. Or Orcolum. This is your home? But that means... Huh? I'm hearing white noise. Is that the game? Oh, the waterfalls. They're echoing all the way here. <laughs> oh no, that's just that's just my ear ringing for some fucking reason. Friends. Jesus. See friends. Oh, now I've got it. Ha. <laughs> means heart. Friends in our hearts. Heart. Oh. So that's what it meant. <laughs> I love how I love how Sassor is. He's like, oh, you're one of those people, huh? Lose heart. No heart. No see friends. One of those people that are constantly on Twitter talking about 
you'll always find the light within Sorry, the darkness, no. believe in yourself. Now give me likes and retweets because of my inspirational no, quote. I like butterflies. They're cool. Aren't monarch butterflies? They're not poisonous, are they? I don't think they are. Isn't there something with them that's like funky? Congratulations, Sora. You didn't do it prematurely this time. But it's sure not the king's. I think someone has a new admirer. <laughs> I didn't sign up for this furry shit. <laughs> leave it to, uh, leave it to Tatsuya Nomura to, to insinuate a, a, a duck fucking an ape. <laughs> Thanks. I needed that image in my head. It was his lust for power that was the bait. But it seems the bait was too tasty for his own good. That shit was just too scrumptious. Yeah, he got chopped instead. Hmm. A weak hearted fool like him stood no charm. Jafar? He's now Jaclose. But the boy. Boom ching. <laughs> he found one of the keyholes. He found one of the keyholes. Fear not, it will take him ages to find the way. Besides, he remains blissfully unaware of our other plan. Yes, the princesses. They are falling into our hands one by one. Speaking of which. Oh no, not Alice. Well, I guess we better get going. Where's your ship anyways? Well, uh, not too far. Sora, Tarzan, friends. You got the jungle key. Don't worry, Tarzan, we'll be the best of friends. That's why I will never come visit you ever again. Goodbye, Tarzan, goodbye. The gummy block that came out of that glowing hole. It's not like the others. I wonder what it was used for. I don't know. Maybe Leon will know? Hmm, he might. Back to Traverse Town then. I want to be a pilot. Hey, stop it! Oh, come on, I'm the Keyblade Master. I don't care who you're- Sora, don't worry. Everyone's a Keyblade Master. It doesn't fucking matter no more. <laughs> Here we go again. I'm the chosen one. I'm the one the Keyblade chose. No, no, you're not. All right, on to the next world. Slowly, methodically, as we go through this horrible, horrible gummy ship part. I fucking hate it. Oh my god. Kingdom Hearts One gummy ship missions is the most annoying. It's just so slow. I mean, yeah, you upgrade your parts and you can make it faster, but that's not, you know, that's not for a, until a while. And half the time, you probably don't even think about it, because once you get that warp drive, you just, you just don't care no more. Until you need to do it again. And then you sit there and you go, why didn't I? Why didn't I just go by? Oh my god. I thought that thing was not going to go down. You just go, why didn't I just buy some speed? At least the music's okay. It's not the best, but it's catchy though. I like it. I like it, but then you have like what Speed Highway in Kingdom Hearts 2, which is way better, has that awesome ass guitar in it. Love it. 
And I don't even remember what the fuck the gummy mission music was from Kingdom Hearts 3, because it's just forgettable. <laughs> it's forgettable, man. Are we are we there yet? Man, this world is this world is pretty fucking far away, Jesus. I think I'll get to uh I think I'll get to Traverse Town round uh, tra I can't even speak. Traverse Town round two. And then I think I might depending on how much time we got left, I might call it quits. Maybe, who knows. Maybe by the time we get there, I'll get my second win and I won't be as tired as I am right now. <laughs> I also got coffee candy. It's all the fuck the way over there. But I have to get up and go get it. I don't want to do that yet. I'm not sure how much caffeine that thing has in it. Welcome to Olympus Coliseum. I think it's only it only hasn't been in one game. It's almost in every goddamn game though. And it wasn't until like maybe Birth by Sleep where they expanded it a little bit and then uh and then Kingdom Hearts 3 is where they're like, "Hey, wait a minute. There's like a whole entire world in this place." Maybe we should do that. Um, good timing. Give me a hand, will you? Hi, Danny DeVito. Still over there for me? I gotta spruce this place up for the game. For the games. Oh, Danny DeVito, isn't it awesome that they didn't get you for Kingdom Hearts Three because he was like, "I'm not doing that shit." <laughs> so then you have Phil just walking around, not talking. It's way too heavy. The most talkative character what? doesn't say anything. Too heavy. Since when have you been such a little? A little what? I'm 14. Hi. Oh, wrong guy. What are you doing here? This here is the world famous Coliseum. Heroes only. And I got my hands full preparing for the games. The so games. Run along, squeaks. Look, it's like this. Heroes are coming from all over to fight ferocious monsters right here in the Coliseum. You got the one standing right in front of you. Yup, he's a real hero chosen by the Keyblade. And we're heroes too. So we got a dog creature, a duck, and a goofball running around with a giant key. What's so funny? I fought a bunch of monsters. Hey, if you can't even move this, you can't call yourself the hero. Okay, so it takes more than brawn. Well, well, let's see what you can do. All right. This trial is tough. You got what it takes? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, okay, let's see what you got. It's very tough. I highly doubt you can do it. Hit these barrels. Go. Uh oh. Damn it. Having ripple drive is actually not a good idea for this. Oh my god, my dog got up again. What are you doing, man? You gonna. Oh, you can, you can still launch it with ripple drive. Huh. Not bad for a beginner, that is. Stop scratching your bed. What are you doing? Alright, this one. It's not hard, but you know. Ooh. That was a lucky shot. So was that. Uh oh. Damn it. And just like that, I fucked it up. 
Maybe I can save it. Maybe I can save it. This is why I didn't want Ripple Drive for this. Uh oh. Uh, I got time. Yeah, I got time. Alright, let's see. Can I aim this? Oh no. My aim is so off for that. Mmm! Uh, yep, no, I'm out of time. <laughs> Damn it. Curse you, Ripple Drive. Did I, did I click I'm not quitting? I'm sorry. What did I click? Damn it. Yeah, quit. I gotta get rid of Ripple Drive. Yeah, shut up, Phil. I got it. Philistopheles, whatever the fuck your, your actual long-ass name is. There we go. It's easier to do with that Ripple Drive. I'm ready. I'm ready, I'm ready. Promotion. I'm ready. There we go. Get that wide hit going in. Which, I mean, you have Ripple Drive, but... You also want that, that launch, you know? Bam, not bad. Come on. Over here. Come on. Now what you want to do to make it easier for yourself is kind of like angle it. Well, not angle Come it, but you know what I mean. Hit it from the right angle, so it launches into other barrels, so you don't waste time on the clock. But you don't really have to worry too much about it. The only one that I would say worry about it is this one, but I just got lucky and smacked it with the other barrel, so there we go. That's why you don't want Ripple Drive. You know? You ain't bad, kid. <laughs> Looks like I'm headed for the games. I smacked a couple of barrels Afraid around. Afraid not. Why not? Two words. You guys ain't heroes. Oh man, you can't count. Not only that, that was four words, but it was a combination of uh, one of the words was a combination of two. Want to become a real hero? Start by mastering this spell. Obtain the power of thunder. It's called thunder. Cool. Sorry, can't let you into the games just yet, but I can train you for them. Nah, I'm good. All right. Now, here's where you uh can switch out your magic, right? Just in case you don't feel like constantly going over here, clicking magic and doing that. That's the long way. You can assign them to shortcuts. I like to keep Cure on at all times. I mean, you should always keep Cure on at all times. Like, let's be honest. Put that bitch on X, because it's right there. Square on, uh, you know, fire on square, but I switched that out for something later. And then, uh, triangle for whatever the hell you feel like. Uh, Thunder in this game, it's, uh, it's not bad, but... Unlike Fire and Blizzard is not as reliable in the next game, that well, not in the next game. In Kingdom Hearts 2, the third game, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it, uh, it becomes better. But Thunder in this game, you can't really aim it. It kind of just goes wherever the fuck it feels like. So, for the most part, I would say you're better off keeping Blizzard. Keeping Blizzard or Fire. Right? Uh, rather a stubborn old goat, wouldn't you say? Who are you? Oh, hey, hold on there, Fuzzboy. Oh, it's James Woods! Let me guess. You want to enter the games, right? Well then, hey, get a load of this. God, I love you, James Woods. It's all yours. Good luck, kid. I'm pulling for you, little shorty. You know, I was actually really surprised, like, how much James Woods is in, like... Is in like a uh, Family Guy. <laughs> like he's in there for a bit. 
<laughs> like for a while. He like keeps coming back. It's not until what, like the ninth season, I think, where they get rid of him because they kill him off. But he, he comes, he comes back for a couple, a good handful of episodes. James Woods, yeah. James Woods, hi. All right, we now got a pass for the games. Read and whip. Uh, reading and whip? Wow. Reading and weep, Philistopheles. Hey, how'd you get this? Can we enter the games now? Well, I guess so. We start with the preliminaries. Ready for preliminaries? Hell yeah. Some real weirdos sign up for this game. Better watch yourself. Watch your back. Shake that ass. Watch yourself. Show me what you're working with. <laughs> All right. These blue guys, I forgot what they're called. Blue raspberries, blue rhapsodies, something like that. I don't fucking remember. I don't care. They're basically the ice wizards. So hitting them with ice magic isn't isn't prefer isn't you know preferred, right? Hit them with fire now. They go, oh that hurt. You're no heroes yet, but you ain't doing bad. Lucky you came to me for coaching. As he strokes his beard. Oh my God! It's Vincent Vel. Oh. Never mind. It's Cloud. Something tells me he'll be a tough one to beat. Who knows? Maybe you'll end up facing him, and then you'll hear him scream the same line over and over. <laughs> For like ever. Alright, so here in the Coliseum... I mean, it's it's true to its name. It's the Coliseum. Basically, it's the tournament world, and it's gonna be a pain in the ass later because at some point we're gonna have to do what the Hades Cup, I think, and that's like a hundred rounds of bullshit. So, ow! I got hit by fire. That's not lovely. So you know, that's gonna be a pain. Is it a hundred? I think it is a hundred rounds. And then, we all are going to have to prepare for the uh, dreaded Platinum match. Whenever that happens. I actually never did that part of the game on Proud Mode. Say, you're better than I thought, kid. Wish he was here to see this. Who? Hercules, or Heracles, however the hell it's actually pronounced. Or Heracles. Uh, he's a hero. He's a hero. If ever there was one, too bad he's off visiting his father. His mother? Not so much. Bad alcohol problem, that one. Oh, there's still one left. You know what? I should've just pressed the lock on button to check that out. But I didn't. Nice fucking front flip, Donald. Jesus. I hate these guys because they're so fucking fast. Stop shooting me. I'm supposed to be the one shooting you. Oh my god. I gotta pay attention to my health. Ooh. Just because I just because I'm I'm a little stronger than than normal. Doesn't mean I still can't get my ass handed to me, okay? That little punk is your next opponent, okay? I don't blow it. Just take him out. The great god of the underworld is afraid of a kid? Sorry, but my contract says... I know! You think I don't know? I wrote the contract! I know it says you're only required to kill Hercules in this tournament. But you gotta fight that kid to get to him. Come on. Hey, it's like that old goat says. Rule number 11. It's all just a game. So let loose and have fun with it. I mean, a casualty or two along the way. It's no big deal, right? <laughs> Jeez. Stiffer than the stiff's bag home. Still, suckers like him are hard to come by. <laughs> I think this was the birthplace of Emo Cloud. 
if I uh, I think because I mean if you ever played like uh, that's something that I really love and uh, the Final Fantasy 7 remake is that they were like you know what Cloud was a fucking loser <laughs> that guy was a loser oh my god I'm gonna die all right hold up I'm getting my ass handed to me I'm worried about this guy, first and foremost. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I got no magic. There we go. Now, can we get rid of these motherfuckers? Jesus. I should have changed my Keyblade, too, while I was at it. I forgot to do that. Nothing to it. Final match, Cloud. I didn't do nothing yet, Cloud, all right? So Cloud, he's gonna ow, he's gonna do that, and then he's gonna swing his big old sword. You can tech that hit, but it's very risky. He also has a move called Sonic Rush, I think. What is it called? Is it called Sonic Rush? Sonic Dash? Something? Mega Potion? Here we go. Oh, shit! And it's a move where he dashes forward, that's it, and then he's gonna keep doing it, and you're gonna hear him go, ah! 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 for like ever. He also is totally going to melt Goofy and Donald. I say be careful and get him when he does this. Go for aerial hits. Don't fight him with ground attacks because, ow. Because he will deflect the ever-living shit out of those and get you on a rebound. There we go. Doesn't matter if you win or lose the fight. But of course you want to win. You get that moral victory in there. Don't worry, Cloud. It's okay. We can be friends now. Okay, never mind. Oh, right. There was one other rule. I forgot. Accident happened. That's so unnecessary. <laughs> he crushed every bone in his body. Oh my god, Heraclius! That man was not... Her Hercules did not neglect his biceps. I mean, not his biceps, his triceps. That's what I meant to say. That's like one third of your arm. Phew, that was close! That was Cerberus, or Kerberus, as it's actually pronounced, I believe. The Guardian of the Underworld! Herc should be able to handle him, though. But then again, maybe not. This doesn't look good. Man, that's crazy. That's your problem. If you want, you can totally leave right now. <laughs> Alright. Gonna save over this. Did I even level up once while I was doing all this? I'm level 26. Oh, I did. Huh. Make sure to switch out my equipment, actually. Jungle Key has a long reach, but seldom deals critical blows. Huh. So its critical hit is lower. But it has good reach, which is, which is nice. I like that. Um, do I have anything else for you guys? No, I don't. Abilities. Did anyone learn anything else besides me? I don't think bonus levels exist in this. Yeah, bonus levels don't exist in Kingdom Hearts 1. Oh, shit. They exist in Kingdom Hearts 2. Alright, cool. Um, I'm actually going to give myself a, uh, a potion out of the millions that I have. We're going to run our asses back in there. Kid, you're not entering the arena, are you? This ain't just some match. This is for real. I'm not afraid of no damn dirty mutt. Uh, actually, I recommend that you... <laughs> you can totally... You can totally walk away from this fight and continue the game. You don't have to put up with this shit. I don't think you do anyways. But, that said, once you get in this fight, I mean, you, you of course you can reload your game or whatever, but once you get in this fight, it's actually one of the tougher fights in the early game because of how it's kind of, how it's made and also, Cerberus hits pretty fucking hard, man. I'm not afraid. You can decide if I'm hero material or not. Careful, kid.
every bone in that man's body is broken. Kid, I got two words of advice for you. Attack! That's one. It's not helpful. That's the other word. All right, so Cerberus is gonna walk around, very hard to reach, and it's gonna spit fireballs. Hurts like a bitch. Having fire defense, uh, like a fire bracelet or something, will actually be very useful here. Now, reaching Cerberus, a little difficult. And when you do that, Cerberus is gonna start chomping. You can tech that, right? Like I just did. We'll also slam on the ground, you wanna jump for that, don't get hit by that. But, you know, teching this, it won't always happen. It's kind of difficult. And then he does this shit, which will follow you for a while. And as he does this, he'll walk around and shoot fireballs. I say always stay on his side. And if you possibly can, I used to be able to do this in the original game. You'd be able to jump on its hind leg, jump up here, and get some wonderful pot shots in. But I don't know what the fuck they did in Final Mix. Because for some reason, for the life of me, I can't do it again. And usually this fight takes kind of a while, but again, I'm overpowered, <laughs> so <laughs> from all that grinding I did, I came prepared. So it's not too hard for me, but if you were doing this normally, especially on Proud, I would say, you know, be cautious and make sure you go into this fight with Cure. Inferno Band. Thus, I do hereby dub the junior heroes and confer upon the full rights and privileges to participate in the game. Further... How do you mean junior heroes? You rookies still don't understand what it takes to be a true hero. So, what does it take? Well... That's just something you'll have to find out for yourselves. Just the way that I did. No problem. We'll start by proving ourselves in the games. There ain't gonna be any games for a while. Gotta clean up the mess from that last battle first. Okay. We'll Especially since Cloud left all that fucking blood on the floor. I still can't believe that Squirt actually beat Cerberus. Just between us, I'd already worn Cerberus down by the time the little guy jumped in. My lips are sealed. See, I remember the first time I played this game that actually made me feel a little hurt. I was like, you're lying, Hercules. Cerberus was handing your ass on the platter. But then later on, when you do fight Cerberus again, you actually see Cerberus's real health, and it's like, oh, he wasn't lying. Okay. Wow. Hey, Cloud, how's it going? Did your body reconstruct itself yet? Hey, are you alright? Yeah. So, why did you go along with him anyway? The same reason you did, Sora? I'm looking for someone. Hades promised to help. I tried to exploit the power of darkness, but it backfired. I fell into darkness, and I couldn't find the light. Dude, you just made a bad deal. Calm down. You'll find it. I'm searching too. For your light? No, for my friends. Don't lose sight of it. How about a rematch sometime? Fair and square, no dark powers involved. I think I'll pass. But he didn't use dark powers. He Maybe he used one dark power. Alright, you get Sonic Blade. That's what it's called, Sonic Blade, not Sonic Rush. Sonic Rush is a game for the DS. <laughs> <laughs> a pretty a pretty okay one too. It has a pretty funky soundtrack if I remember correctly. 
They should make a sequel to Sonic Rush, actually, now that I think about it. But anyways, uh, yeah, we get Sonic, Sonic Blade. It uses MP, and, uh, basically you just, you do what Cloud did. You, you rush through enemies. Honestly, it's just, it's a strong attack, but it's totally not worth it, if you ask me. I honestly don't care about it. So, um, there's that. Also, quick little tidbit. Cloud has that outfit in this game because originally Vincent Valentine was supposed to be in this game, but because they wanted this game to cater to uh, a younger audience, most people wouldn't know who the fuck Vincent Valentine was. Either that, either that, or uh, you know he would be considered too mature. He's kind. He's always there for you, and he's handsome to boot. He's perfect. Perfect. Perfectly infuriating. Crazy. <sighs> Wait a minute. What are you worried about? All the pieces are in place. Relax. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here's what you do. Let Hercules train the kid. In the next games, I'll take care of them both. Who invited you to the party? Stay out of this. This is my show. Ain't that true, James As Wood? You wish. Fight to your heart's content. So charismatic. Alright. What's really funny about this is that you can honestly never return back to the Colosseum if you want if you don't want to. And it's fine, you can beat the game, so you never continue that story whatsoever. Completely optional. But now, it's time to make our way back to Traverse Town. Traverse Town, get it? Because it's like Traverse Town. It's where you traverse to... <laughs> it's cool. It's a funny joke. Oh man, I hate these fucking gummy ship missions. Don't worry. Soon we'll learn how to do warp drive and it still won't matter. I mean, it'll matter a little bit for like maybe what one or two instances, but other than that, it won't matter really. Because when we go to new worlds, we still have to drive regular, uh, you know, normally there. So, <sighs> not a fan of the gummy ship. Not a fan of the gummy ship. Not a fan of the motherfucking gummy ship. God damn it! <laughs> you know what? Coming off the heels of Persona, though, right? Persona for Golden. That playthrough should be getting uploaded on YouTube as we speak. If you like what you see, make sure you leave a comment and a like so you can help the channel out. There you go. There you go. I believe in you. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you leave a comment and a like so you can help the channel out. Please, actually, you know what? I mean, I'm being, a, I'm being a little loser about it, but for real, if you do that, that does help the channel out, like, really a lot, because that's all YouTube cares about, so please do that for me. But anyways, I, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah, coming off the heels of Persona 4 Golden. Like, this is more relaxing, because I, because A, I don't have to, you know, read too much. Which is a nice, uh, a nice pressure off my back, especially since most of the game, most of the games that I've been playing for a while I, requires a lot of reading. A lot. And I'm not sure if you noticed, but I'm, I may not be the best at reading. Like, I can read fast, but that that's the problem, though. I read so fast that my brain fucks it up for me. For me. See, you see what I did there? I couldn't even say the words for me. I fucking slurred. Great. Back in Traverse Town, we got some shit to do. We gotta go see... Leon. Yuffie! Yuffie, I love you. Leon's probably at the underground cavern. He trains there often. You know, the channel in the alleyway is connected to the cavern. Well, thank you, Yuffie. Now that we come back, uh, we can do the Red Trinity. I'm not sure if they gave me a notification for that, for that but we can do it. Yay! Damn, you okay, Donald? <laughs> We kind of just, like, fucked you up there. Dalmatians. Wonderful. Collect as many as you can. You're going to need a lot. 
We're gonna get all of them though. My bad, that was a yawn. That was a quick yawn that I just did. Over here. Jump on this trinity. And open this chest, please. For the love of God, do not jump down without opening this chest. Because I'm not even sure if there's a way for you to get back up here. So, make sure you do that. If there is, then... Oh, you know what? There probably is. I think if you have glide, you can jump up on that roof and like fly over there or something. But that's such a pain in the ass. Over here, there's a chest, but we can't open it for some reason. Must be some weird thing to do. If if the camera won't stop freeze. fucking with me, you wanna get all these candles? There we go. Fence up. That's love. I'm actually gonna throw that on right now. Whenever you get stat items like this, do not waste them on Donald and Goofy for fuck's sake. Oh my god. Give them to Sora. Always give them to Sora. Donald and Goofy do not need it. If they die, it doesn't matter. They'll just pop back up. If you die, that's game over, baby. You don't want that to happen. No siree. Also, postcards. You're gonna want to collect these too. You gotta get ten of them. And in doing so, you'll get, uh, I think you'll get Dark Matter? I think that's what it's called? It's a synthesis item. And, you know, you're kinda... You're gonna want that. <laughs> you're gonna want that. Also, over here, I think this is where you get another postcard. Just stick your keyhole... Your keyhole? Stick your key in the hole! Like a little dirty bastard you are. Grab another postcard. I'm not gonna worry too much about them yet, though. Over here we have new electric boys. Uh, I don't think they're weak to any element, really. Maybe gravity? When you get gravity? Hmm. Maybe gravity. I don't know, does... Does the damage that Eroa... That, um, that Eroa or Eraga does... Does that do tech for these guys? Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? But yeah. Do what Yuffie said. Oh, I'm going the complete wrong way, by the way. Did I ever put the... Oh, I don't think I put Ripple Drive back on. I should do that. Oh, come on, Sora. Can you not? Thank you. Alright, head on down here. I keep forgetting I have dodge roll. I wanted it so bad earlier, and the moment I got it, I forgot. Jesus. <laughs> Just killing Donald. Hey, Leon. On air, uh, fuck, I just like. <coughs> I don't know what the fuck just happened with my voice. What the hell is that about? <coughs> I just, uh, I just stuttered saying Aerith's name. Hey, Aerith. Or Eris. I don't, I don't care. This place is so mysterious. It is, it is. So you found the keyhole. Yeah. The keyblade locked it automatically. Good. Every word amongst the stars has a key. Wait, every word. Every world amongst the stars has a keyhole, and each one leads to the heart of the world. That must be. There must be one in this town as well. What do you mean? It was an Ansem's report. The heartless enter through the keyhole and do something to the world's core. What happens to the world? It gets fucked up, Sora. It dies. It blows up. Barrett was right the whole entire time. We just didn't listen to him. That's why your key is so important. Please lock the keyholes. You're the only one who can. I don't know. Seeing other worlds would probably serve you well. Yeah. We gotta find your friends and the king. I guess you're right. 
I love how Sora's like, they're like, Sora, we need you to seal the keyholes. And he's like, I don't know. Meanwhile, the reason he's on this fucking journey is that they go, oh, come with us. Maybe you'll find your friends. He goes, okay. Okay. <laughs> wow, Sora, you're just bad at decision making. Hey, Leon, this gummy block's different from the others. Do you know what it's for? Thanks a lot. Ask Sid, he should know. Wait, Sora, take this with you. Earthshine. That's the f that's the family friendly way for saying moonshine, baby. The stone holds some mysterious powers. I've been carrying it for luck. I want you to hold on to it. How do you use it? Uh, I love that if you keep asking him. He's like Leon. He's like, ah, no. Don't fucking talk to me. I don't know what to do. Please lock the keyholes. Please lock the keyholes. All right, cool. Now that that's out the way, actually, you know what? Before that, you want to come over here. There's a chest. There you go. Dalmatians. Beautiful. Swim on through. We gotta go talk to Sid now. Remember earlier when I said maybe when we get over here to, uh, whatchamacallit? To, uh, Traverse Town? That I might have my second wind? Guess what? I just got my second dose of, like, sleepiness. So instead of having second wind, now my body's just like, oh, you're tired, tired. <laughs> it's like, you want to go to bed right now. So if I don't hurry up and do this, I'm going to fucking doze off. And on down here, talk to Sid. Hey there, buddy. I'm hearing my dog sleep right now. He's so comfortable. What you got there? Hey. Well, if it ain't a gummy block. Yep. What's this one for? You're kidding me. You're flying a gummy ship and you don't know nothing about navigation gummies? Bunch of pinheads. Interspace ain't no playground. There's a lot we don't know, so what? We have to use this. <laughs> I forgot my jungle key is fucking just all mangled up. You have to use. Uh, we gotta use this gummy ship to go to other worlds. We don't have a choice. Whoa, easy, okay? I didn't know, no hard feelings. Alright, alright. Well, I guess I could lend you a hand then. I mean, I can say the same thing to Sid, right? It's like, he's like, you got these gummy blocks and you don't know how to fucking use them? What a loser. And I'm like, and hey, you know how to use them, but you got no ship? <laughs> like, shut up. Thanks. Basically, with navigation gummies, you can go to new places. Uh, you want one on your ship, right? Yes, please. I'll install it for you. But I got this thing I gotta go deliver first. What do you need to deliver? Just this book. It's real old. When the guy brought it in, it was practically falling apart. To beat up, uh, to beat up to, uh, wow. Too beat up to restore it, uh, to the way it was. But overall, I did a decent job putting it back together. Anyways, you mind delivering it for me? It's the old house past the third district. Look for a big fire sign. Old book. Oh, Jesus, what the hell was that? Hmm? Oh, the bell's ringing at the gizmo shop. Go check it out if you want to, uh, if you want, but deliver the book for me first. When you're done, stop by the house in the third district. I'll be there. I totally forgot to unlock the third district when we were there last time. I should have done that. All right. So let's head over to the third district. Oh, man, not only that, I'm tired, but I'm hungry now, too. Jesus, fuck. My my second wind of my second hit of sleepiness quickly went from me being hungry and now I'm no longer sleepy but I'm hungry as hell. Okay, gonna run over here. Oh shit! Of course you're blocking the way. Ow! Oh my god, you did a lot of fucking damage. All right. Do this as fast as I can. 
so I can put a little something in my stomach. Oh shit, these guys, air soldiers, they hurt. <laughs> they, they might be, if you're on proud mode, they might cause you a couple of game overs. Because not only that they hurt, but they're pretty... They're not, they're not as fast as like the blue guys jumping around over here, but they're pretty fast. Oh my god, Donald's down. Donald's down for the count, guys. Now I'm getting hit by all angles, dude. I'm getting hit by tiredness, hunger, got a bit of a headache going on. <laughs> a little bit of a headache going on. There we go. All right. Ah, damn it. I forgot to even re-equip Ripple Drive. Ow. There we go. Come on. Unlock it. There we go. Now that's a shortcut to the first district. Ow. Oh my god, you see how much damage they can do? Jesus! Oh my god, yeah, they're gonna fucking ruin my day. Oh shit! I had like a hiccup real quick. Motherfuckers hurt like, like crazy. Damn, dude. Come over here. There's thunder. I honestly forget what it does. But more importantly, you wanna fire that door. Oh. Oh. I, I used my. Uh, I got an ether, right? Stock. Thank you. Because I kind of need this. Fire. There we go. That's how you open that door. Now be careful when you're jumping over here. Because if you fall in the water, your ass is going to have to swim all the way back and jump on these rocks again. Kind of a dickhead to make the rocks move though, don't you think, Tetsuya Nomura? The game's not a platformer. Place. Why'd you gotta call him Musty? That's so unnecessary. Someone's house you're talking about. Rude. Back home, where we used to scribble on the walls. Remember? Kyrie? Sora? Goofy? Donald just says his own name like Spongebob. Donald! <laughs> well, well. You've arrived sooner than I expected. What? You knew we were coming? Oh, of course. Are you a heartless? You know what? Donald, if you want to smack the shit out of Sora right now, I wouldn't be mad. Doesn't look like one. You know what? Goofy, if you want to smack the shit out of Donald, I wouldn't be mad. Oh my, no. My name is Merlin. As you can see, I am a sorcerer. I spend much of my time traveling into the... Uh, fuck. I spend much of my time traveling. It's good to be home. I find it very weird that they put Merlin and... I mean, here's... I, I like Merlin, right? Nice that he's here. But... Merlin's in the game, at no point have we ever visit the world of the Sorcerer in the Stone. Maybe because they just think that it's too old of a movie, but at the same time, Kingdom Hearts 2 threw in fucking Tron. So, what the hell, man? That and they threw in Timeless River, fucking uh, Steamboat Willie. Your king has requested my help, but I mean, it is, it is Mickey Mouse, so it's, you know, it's recognizable. King Mickey? Yes, indeed. Donald, Goofy, and who might you be, young man? I'm Sora. Ah, so you found the key. What is that? Oh, oh, fuck. 
What did the king ask you to do? Just a moment now. Presto! I wish they had like the whole scene from Sword in the Stone, right? Where it's just like, where it's like, wickety wickety crackety pack. And he's like, oh man, wh 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 where was I at? And then Arthur looks at him, he goes, uh, hockety pockety? He's like, oh yeah, hockety pockety, wakati walk. Now then, ahem. Your king asked me to train you in the arts of magic. We can start anytime you like. Let me know when you're ready to begin the training. Oh, and one more thing. Hello, I'm the Fairy Godmother. Your king asked me to help you too. I will assist you throughout your journey. I don't know how much I'll be of help, but I do. St uh, but do stop by anytime. All right, cool. Here's your book. Oh, the book. So Sid asked you to bring this. Hmm. Thank you. You wish to know what's inside this book? I don't even know myself. In fact, it's not mine. Somehow it was found. It found its way into my bag one day. It was such a curious book, I asked it to repair for me. Well, I guess I'll put it here for somewhere for now. I mean, if it was in your bag, obviously it is your book. This book holds a great secret. The missing pages will unlock it. I'll leave the book over there. Do, lo uh, do look at it whenever you like. My best regards to Sid for repairing it for me. Oh, and about that stone of yours. You should go speak to the fairy godmother about that. She's my girl on the side, if you know what I mean. <laughs> hey. Do you know what this is? Oh, the poor thing. He has turned into a summon gem. A summon gem? This little creature lived in the world that was consumed by darkness. When a world vanishes, so do its inhabitants. But this one has such a strong heart, it became a gem instead of vanishing with its world. Can he regain himself? Yes, but only his spirit. Now watch. Bibbity bobbity boo. You got Simba. Guess what? It's cool, and you would think a lion by your side would be kind of awesome, but no, it sucks. To summon the magic, you need three party members in battle. Each summon spell can only be used once per battle. Be careful, you cannot use summon magic while any party member is KO'd. Summon characters withdraw from the battle uh, once they run out of MP. Except for two exceptions. You can also dismiss, uh, use the dismiss command to, you know, get get rid of them early. Much more info on summoning, blah, 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 blah. Whenever you go, he will help you. If you find any more of these, bring them to me. Don't worry, when their worlds are restored, they will return there. Sora, please help save them. Don't worry, I will. All right. There are two exceptions to that rule of, you know, you need, well, you do need three party members to some of them, but the whole thing about, uh, your party members will disappear and stuff like that. And those two summons are, well, one of them is kind of whatever. The other one is the most overpowered summon in the game, despite it not being an attack summon. You best go see Sid before going anywhere else. Yeah, I know. Let me just save my fucking game, okay? Jesus, over my back. The entire time, get off. Like if I wanted you to constantly be sucking me, I would take you to dinner first. Oh look, a trinity. <laughs> I'm kidding Merlin, you're cool, I love you. Maybe I will take you to dinner first. I bet Merlin has to have some awesome stories though, right? Now, uh, I believe there is another way out of here. Oh no, you have to, I think you gotta activate it first. Whatever. Once you're done, walk on out. And you don't have to really jump on these. You just kinda go. Rolling around at the... Oh. I know those belt buckles anywhere. 
What's going on? Riku! Hey, hey, cut it out! I'm not dreaming this time. Right? I hope not. It took forever to find you. Riku! Wait a second, where's Kairi? Isn't she with you? Obviously not. Well, don't worry. I'm sure she made it off the island too. We're finally free. Hey, she might even be looking for us now. We'll all be together again soon. Don't worry. Just leave everything to me. I know this... Leave it to who? Sora, uh, what did you... I've been looking for you, and Kairi too, with their help. Who are they? They're my friends. We visited so many places and worlds looking for you. Really? Well, what do you know? I never would have guessed. Oh, and guess what? Sora is the Keyblade Master. Who would have thought it? What's that mean? So, this is called a Keyblade? Huh? How the fuck did hey, you get that? Give it back. Catch. Whoa. Okay. So you're coming with us, right? We've got this awesome rocket. Wait till you see it. Go! He can't come. What? Forget us. Oh, come on. He's my friend. I don't care. Oh, he's gone. Oh. Riku? The good old Irish goodbye. Nice going. Oh, well. At least he's okay. And who knows? Maybe we'll run into Kyrie soon, too. Okay. Now we just need to head back to Sid. Good thing we opened the shortcut. Oh, Sid? Sid, my boy. You're not, Sid. You're the guy who died earlier. Where, how are you still alive? Goofy, get off the fucking counter. You know what? I'll get on the counter. Sid had to go home. He lives in the third district. Oh, okay. You got anything new for me? Hmm. Yes, sir. No, you don't. All right, cool. Actually, how much money do we have? 2,000? You actually want to do something real quick. Head over here. To the item shop. Here we can see good old Huey, Dewey, and Louie. I'm in charge of keeping the shop clean. It's easier than our bedroom. We're gonna earn enough money here to go on our own adventure. Sorry, Uncle Donald. No family discounts. How the fuck are you guys even here? Shouldn't you motherfuckers be at Disney Castle? Why are you... Whatever. Welcome. Are you looking to buy or maybe you have something to sell? I'm looking to buy, baby. I want to buy. Alright. Morningstar, a staff that heightens magic power can also be used as a weapon. A hammer that's made for combat reduces MP. Listen, I don't know why you would want Donald to do anything combat related. Get Morningstar. First magic. A small shield made for attack rather than defense. A large shield that protects against various attacks. I always say go for attack with Goofy because I mean again defense on these guys really doesn't matter because if they die who cares they'll come back me on the other hand I won't Donald Morningstar there you go Goofy Smasher Smashing Thrashing Okay now we head over to District 3. Go talk to Sid. You guys ever heard of Maleficent? I heard she's in town. Who is she? 
sorry I, I i thought for a moment i was thinking for a moment i was like did i <laughs> my mind completely wandered i was like did i did i watch the maleficent movie ever isn't there two maleficent movies now that i think about it whatever anyways a witch man she's a witch and well i'm saying that because uh she's a witch and also i can't say the b word she's the reason this town is full of heartless maybe it's your fucking negative attitude you ever thought about that don't take her lightly She's been using the Heartless for years. We lost our world thanks to her. Did you though? One day a swarm of Heartless took over our world. That was nine years ago. Oh my god, you guys been here for nine years? Holy shit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait. Whoa, whoa. hold up, wait, what? <laughs> That's why. Okay, never mind. Really? One year after? One year after? Was that Maleficent's fault? Hmm, maybe it was. Did they ever show that? Whatever, I'm, I'm getting too ahead of myself. That's for a different Kingdom Hearts game. Anyways, I got out of uh, got out of that mess and came here with these guys. That's awful. A ruler was a wise man named Ansem. He dedicated his life to studying the Heartless. His reports should tell us how to get rid of the Heartless. Where are these reports? We don't know. It got scattered when our world was destroyed. Somehow, your world got destroyed. Your entire world got destroyed, but some pieces of paper managed to make it out okay. Alright, cool. I'm sure Maleficent's got most of the pages. You see, it's just as I told you. While you toiled away trying to find your dear friend, he quite simply replaced you with some new companions. Oh, come on, Riku. You can't possibly believe that. That's pretty fucking far-fetched, especially after he just said he was looking for you. You're better off without that wretched boy. Now think no more of him and come with me. I need an adult. <laughs> That's the face of a good guy. <laughs> that guy? He's a good guy. So, you delivered that book? That navigation gummy is installed. You know what? What's really annoying, Sid, is that you told me you, you needed me to deliver the book, but you live closer to the fucking area than, you know, than your shop is, and then you came over here yourself. Literally, you could have just walked to the door. Whatever, you're an asshole, Sid. You find another one, you bring it to me. I threw in a warp gummy for the heck of it. Thank you. Now you can jump to worlds you've been to before. You better get back to my regular job. What's my real job? See me at the first district. I've been thinking about the bell in the second district. The one that ranged a bit ago? Uh, the one about the gizmo shop. There's a legend uh, there's legend about it, you know? But it all but it's all boarded up. Nobody can get in there. Did you ever thought about taking like a hammer and just pulling the nails out? Heck, go check out uh, go check it out. Ring it three times and see what, if anything happens. All right, cool. Gonna do exactly that. Especially by ignoring these guys. And we're gonna do this as fast as I possibly can because, oh boy, that tiredness is hitting me really hard. It's hitting me something fucking fierce. I'll tell you that. I'm gonna end up passing out on you guys. Alright, here's the gizmo shop. I'll usually show off more of it, but fuck that. Climb on up here. Before, you wouldn't be able to get up here because the ladder would be on the other side. And then... Make sure... Ow. Ow. Alright, damn it. Make sure you defeat these guys. The green ones, uh, they don't hurt you, but they do heal the enemies. Oh, come on. Don't go down there. Thank you. Be careful not to fall off, because if you fall off, you're going to have to do this shit all over again. You're going to get back up here. Break this bad boy. And ring the bell three times. For whom does the bell toll? For me, of course. Now, what I find weird is that if the bell rings itself normally, how come it doesn't move this block?
Also, who made that fountain to be like that? It's kind of unnecessary. Now, once you're ready, prepare yourself and jump on down for your next boss fight. Don't worry, I got this. It's no problem. I still didn't equip Ripple Drive. God damn it. That is the most laziest transformation I have ever seen in my life. Say hello to reverse armor, I think it's called, or inverted armor. I forgot. Basically, it's guard armor, but now, now it's using one. Oh, oh shit! Now it's revealed its true power level. Same as before, you can attack individual targets, but this time around, uh, a it hits like a fucking semi, and b for the most part, it's not really gonna try to do too many crazy shit, too much crazy shit, like the original guard armor. That's pretty much it for it. Make sure you uh, attack these, break them, limit its moveset. Get some help in the process. Ow! You can still take its hits, of course. Ow! And then it'll shoot fucking cannons from its goddamn chest cavity. When it does that, you can honestly just get up under it, and for the most part, you'll be safe. Like, like it, it can't angle itself directly down. And there you go! Ooh, I learned tech boost. Attain the power of wind. Arrow. You're going to learn to love that baby. The keyhole consented this time. It wasn't forceful entry. It accepted my advances. You obtain Navi GPs. Nice. Now that's all done. I don't I don't think you need to talk to Sid or anyone. Let's go check that out actually. I think you can literally just you know, head to your gummy ship and move on to the next area. Let me try talking to Sid, see what that gets me. Hey Leon. So, the sound had a keyhole as well. Hurry, Sora. Heartless are growing stronger every minute. Thank you, Sora. You're the only one who can stop the Heartless. Aye, Yuffie. Show us how it's done, Keyblade Master. I sure envy you for seeing Keyhole. Well, next time. Alright. Oh yeah, Sid's hanging out at the first district. Let's go talk to him. He's at his real job. Oh, by the way, all these NPCs in here, they're all pretty much useless, so nobody cares about them. Let's move on. Hey there, Sid. What you doing? Hey, now that was quick. Now you know, I'm in the gummy block business. Working on your gummy ship sure was great. Come again and I'll give you a big discount. I love how he's like, I'm in the gummy ship business. Even though no one here has a ship besides maybe me and you guys. 
Go ahead, take it. It's a special giveaway. Nice. Is that it? I got another navigation gummy there, huh? I got another gummy navigation? Never mind. You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> I fucked that up. My bad. How about you want me to install it? Yes, please. Hmm. Looks like there's another one of those blocks that came in sets. You gotta find the... You gotta find the one that... Oh, fuck. You gotta find the magic one. Alright. That's pretty much it. Traverse Town right now. And with that said and done, whenever you feel like it, you can just walk on out. But actually, before we do that, I think... Me thinks that I'm able to do green trinities now, yes? Green trinity. Oh no, I'm not able to do it. Alright, never mind. Sadness. Alright. But now that Traverse Down is done for the second time around. I think this is a awesome stopping point. Almost been I've been streaming for about like three and a half, maybe the four hours, something like that. Honestly would like to go for two more hours, but my tiredness is really just kicking my ass right now. I don't know why I'm so tired lately, to be honest. But I'm gonna go and get some rest. Probably put something in my stomach before I go to sleep too. And then, uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for me. For those of you watching this on YouTube, if you like what you see, please leave a like and a comment. If you want to subscribe, you can do that as well and click the notification bell. But most importantly, leave that comment and that like because that's what YouTube wants. And if we don't do it, then no one will ever know that I exist. Which, I mean, I would like to be able to exist. Also, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube and you, you don't watch on Twitch, head on over to Twitch. It's in the description. That's cool, right? Uh, you can come and watch me live. Notificate, uh, follow me on Twitter to get the notifications when I'm going live. And so on and so forth and all that wonderful stuff and blah, 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 blah. All right, cool? Cool. Great. For those on Twitch, if you're watching this, Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching live. I greatly appreciate it. It's fun to see you guys here. If you're watching the VOD of this, you're appreciated too. I haven't been saying that for a while now, but I gotta remember that you guys exist because you all can't show up at, uh, what you call it, at scheduled time because my schedule is highly fucked up. But you know what? I appreciate you too, right? But if you can, please head over to the YouTube channel. Just click that like button. Just do it. Just do it. You ain't even got to watch the video. YouTube doesn't care about that anymore. <laughs> Just click the like button. Smash that like button if you like content. All right. Um, other than that, I don't think that's it. Oh, yeah. Uh, before, I would usually say if you want to subscribe to me on Twitch, you know, you can do that. Uh, you can do that if you want. And I would always say I wouldn't advise until I get, you know, a, a set schedule or whatever. But now... I'm going to retract that statement. I'm going to say, hey man, if you want to subscribe to me on Twitch, it's very, very appreciative. You know, if you do that. If I get enough subscribers going, then I will be able to stream a little bit more. And who knows, maybe one day I can do it full time. But I'm not going too crazy with it. I'm not trying to fucking, you know, I'm not trying to be the next PewDiePie or Ninja or whatever the fuck we do out here. You know, if you subscribe, you do it because you like my stuff and you want to throw me some extra extra cash so I can have another day to stream and not have to have this bullshit schedule of streaming no more. You know? That and maybe I can focus on giving you guys like some stuff for uh, being subscribers on Twitch and stuff like that. You know, some kickback. Some sort of kickback, right? But uh, other than that, I think that's all I got to say. Next time we go live, we're going to be doing more Kingdom Hearts. As for the Persona 4 Golden stuff, I wanted to stream uh, Margaret's boss fight. Um, the secret boss fight in that game. And then do Kingdom Hearts. But you know what? I think I'm going to add that on to the playthrough. When it gets added to YouTube. So I'm just going to edit that in there. You know, to make it seem all natural. Instead of just like taking 10 minutes to stream one game and then switching back over the Kingdom Hearts, I think that's kind of like a little bit, a little redundant. But, um, other than that, uh, also on the YouTube channel, as of right now, 
we are playing Vampire alongside the Pokemon Marathon, right? At this point in time, well, by the time this gets uploaded, I would say, Hey You Pikachu is like the latest Pokemon playthrough that I'm doing. Something like that. Because <laughs> I decided to uh, go full marathon with the Pokemon stuff and play. Not, not do a Let's Play for all the games, but, you know. Hey You Pikachu takes, you know, I had to pull out the N64 and get the and get the fucking microphone and hook it up to the capture card. All that bullshit, right? So might as well make a playthrough out of it. Uh, hey, you Pikachu is a longer game than I thought it would be, which is not not nice. <laughs> that is not nice. So Vampire and Hey You Pikachu, uh, yeah, Vampire Hey You Pikachu is going on there. Uh, Pokemon Red and Blue playthrough is done. If you want to watch that on the channel, you know, leave like and comment and all that bullshit. And that's pretty much it. So, again, next time we come back on Twitch, more Kingdom Hearts. And actually, this is going way faster than I thought it would. To be honest, right? Like, this stream here was like, what, almost four hours? And we're like, almost halfway through the game? Maybe it's because I grinded a little bit, but... That's also why we're doing 100%, right? So it doesn't go by too fast, right? <laughs> but it's going it's definitely not going to take as long as Persona 4 Golden. So that's a plus so we can move on to the next game pretty fast. Uh so I would probably say maybe ooh. I'm going to I'm going to say a number here. Maybe like depending on how I do it, right? Cuz I'm all the grinding shit I'll probably do off screen. So maybe a total of like Seven streams, I would say, maybe, depending on how long it takes me to beat certain bosses and stuff like that, right? But, uh, or how long the cutscene's on, but seven streams, I think seven streams is a good number for Kingdom Hearts 1. I think, I think that's doable, right? I, I think. Persona 4's, we, we did that for a while. <laughs> Oof, that one, that game was long. <laughs> but yeah. So that's it. As always, once again, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care.